Thumbs focus. up, man. Intro this shit, bro. Let's go. Out of focus, episode 17, man. Mm. Um, first time upwards of a month that we haven't had a guest. It's just us again. Yep. The saying. boys yeah. are back. The boys are back. The boys They're are back. back. First things first. Hold on. Before we get started with anything, I don't... I don't I don't know if you guys want to get into the speculation of how everything turned out, but first things first, rest in peace, take off, man. Uh, oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah, we have first of all, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Rest in peace, take off. Excellent Mama. rapper. Never, never got the chance to meet him, and I'm kind of sad that I never will. But you know what I mean. My condolences, thoughts, and prayers to everybody affected. Because mm. he never really got the his 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 flowers. his credit on the Migos. Let's be real. Where people really, nah, it, it they was said like he was, was bubbling. They it said was like, he was, I feel like he started, like it was really, it was like, starting it, to take off. They said he was left off bad and bougie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's wild. That's nah, but um, I feel like a, there was a narrative going around that takeoff was the best Migo mm. for a little bit. I definitely heard that one. I'm gonna be real. He's not though. Well, rest in rest in peace to him. But yeah. this is coming off as Offset. insensitive. I think. Offset. You think so? Nah. No, 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 just only right. bossa. Yeah, as long as we differentiate. Yeah, you know. nah. I still don't think it's just an I'll, opinion. It's not. Yeah, it's just an opinion like, on the on the musical side of things. Yeah, but yeah. I think we all share share the same sentiment of you of know him as a person. Of, and yeah, as a soul. of yeah, like yeah, definitely. People are a little extra uh, extra sensitive opinions after people pass away. Too. Of course, of course. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's like yeah, overall on, talented rapper. Yeah, yeah, seemed like you know, a great guy. Migos, I liked him because he always so chill. Yeah, he never really, yeah. you know, he never really had any issues. Didn't do too much, and I I felt like that was kind of cool because his uh, other members of the Migos kind of soaked up the stardom in a way, you know. So I, yeah. I, I I'm curious if you ever like affected him. It was just like I felt like that was just his personality. I don't yeah, he seemed just chill. Yeah, I was like, if he wanted to do that, I feel like he he really could have. You know? Yeah, you're part of the Migos, like, right? Yeah. That's what I'm like Migo game. <laughs> but, tip- <laughs> but typically, if you're like a known rapper, you have to be entertaining. And I'm not saying he wasn't entertaining, but you have to. Put on a lot of like there's a, stuff, you know, a lot but of charades. W- but when you're yeah. with your group, you kind of can lean yeah. on each other and yeah. be like, ah, you know, he's the loud guy, I'm the chill guy, he's the logical guy, I'm the, you know, I'm just the idiot in the group, <laughs> you know, kind of like how how we were talking about doing the podcast. It's like I could like doing it one on one or doing it with a group. It's like you you can lean on each definitely. other. Definitely, yeah. I, you know? I could definitely see the parallels, man. But overall, they all had bars, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course, and it's very sad that we won't be able to get to hear them three as a group anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I mean, because the shit he, him and Quavo were dropping, because he w- they weren't yeah. even it's crazy. messing with uh, Offset, Offset, Offset yeah. right? Yeah. They were kind of split up. Yeah, They literally just dropped that album, too. Yeah. I haven't listened to it, but I heard it was pretty good. But I, yeah, I've seen some crazy. clips too. I always like the uh, the color uh, freestyle studios. Oh yeah, mm. those are always good. Yeah. I I like their <laughs> um, I like their their Tim Westwood one, and we can have a, we can have a conversation about Tim Westwood later. <laughs> oh, the Migos but, freestyle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Oh yeah. That shit was him. You didn't fuck with it. No, I, I love it, That's but he Tim West would just be blowing me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not as bad as the other dude though. Which what, one? Charlie. He fire in the booth. <laughs> Get him, Driz. Fire in the booth. <laughs> with the sound <laughs> effects is crazy. Man. But, yeah, man. Thoughts, thoughts and prayers. I think we can leave it at that, you know? That's a fact. But speaking of the Migos, me and, uh, me and Bossa just started watching a show called The Hype, mm. where Offset is a judge in a streetwear competition. competition. Yeah. Bell, Bell has missed us right now because he's yeah, coming yeah, through. Yeah, look, topic, bro, like, this is the I'm most. Trying to come through yeah. with crazy chops. Like, yo. <laughs> is this, this okay? This How is, you <laughs> been, man? No, and then like, yeah, yeah slow like, down a little bit real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Segwayed himself from the first Migos that's to the, the that's, other Migos. That's the most prepared I've yeah, like, seen I love you to segway. see this, Bell. Like, is that why you were late? Yeah, Nah, that's not why I was late. You see what happens when I've been at No Jumper for like a week or two? Well, I mean, we still haven't even got to talk about that. Like, we've we've kind of been back to back to back with yeah. guests <laughs> and now it's just it's just us now we're back out of it's focus us. Bro. Hey. and and we've kind of bonded a lot more you know yeah the you work at no jumper now. now yeah the dynamic is some people now. some people were commenting like damn how did i miss miss that and it, we announced it during the bobby banks one yeah so if you guys didn't watch that one go check that one out but yeah, oh, yeah, Belt is a full time gang member now. I think <laughs> not full time. <laughs> well, you know. Well, yeah, a gang member, but not a full time employee yet. <laughs> you know. How's it feel? Feels good, man. Feels great. Also, we're all in the same cubicle for yeah, context. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. context. Which um, 
We'll, we'll speak about that later. Uh, nah, let's speak about it now. Oh, well, we're all in the same cubicle, and uh, eventually the fans might end up seeing a little... Well, after hours pod, possibly, possibly mm. if we can allegedly, if, allegedly if we can get the, you know, if the funding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was try, I was trying to dance around the it. back end, the back end. <laughs> nah, basically, guys, we uh we just been been vibing, and we feel like when we're in the cubicle together, we're just potting. We're like, potting. We can't yeah. turn yeah. it off. Yeah. 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 So we're trying to do some like behind the scenes, no jumper type podcast segment series. We don't know. You know, let Adam know. Actually, don't let Adam know. <laughs> <laughs> don't let Adam know. <laughs> but it, it, it might come. It might come. I mean, No Jumper is experimenting a lot in new content. These guys have been doing the graffiti stuff. Yeah, yes, man. They I'm excited for that. When's the next one dropping? Shit, I'm working on this one right now. I'm actually getting some animation done with Moses. He's, like, uh, directing some of the animation. We're outsourcing a guy from the Philippines to do something like motion... Um, Cartoons and shit. So it's Cheap gonna be labor <laughs> type shit. Nice, but <laughs> nice. but they're also really talented. Hey, nice. If really I said talented. that, if I said that, you guys would automatically go to that. Hell yeah! Oh, oh yeah, white sure. guy outsourcing to, to the, the Asians. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. like, who do you know in the Philippines? Like, yeah. He's actually Filipino. <laughs> he definitely like, celebrates uh, Christopher like, oh, okay. Columbus Day. <laughs> 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 like, like, how did you? <laughs> Not yet. But yeah, this next one is uh, Sita. From uh, Channel Five slash, he worked with FTP. FTP. So that yeah. one's uh, that one's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for that. Still, one. Yeah, still work in progress. You know? And I did all the music on those. So, well, not, most of not it, all of them, but, but most most of it. You but know yeah, you mean? are on the credits for you. You do all the um, all the dialogue portions. I I put your music, and then instrumentals is. All right, let's not this put me guy. in a box. I did a lot of the music for it. You know what I mean? Let's I'm not. Just he was to just specifying. Nah, hold on. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga's ego just took a crazy yeah, that was shot. Crazy. It was a joke. It was a joke. Was I don't know, bro. Hey, there's a, there's a little bit of truth to every joke. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm, you were the yeah. one that put me onto that, huh, Bill? Put you on to a lot of things, Kelvin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he reverse Uno, yeah, right? Yeah, See, yeah, I did that. A, that was a cool little reverse. Yeah. It's the first hey, and last time, It feels so good to be back, man. But how was everyone's weekend? <laughs> it was, it was See chill. how you just Can I go first Because I'm excited About what I did this weekend yeah, I feel on. like we all Yeah, yeah Oh cool. yeah we all did Yeah <laughs> Did we uh, Saturday mo- <laughs> Last Yesterday morning Me and Moses went to uh, um, Fuck what is it A uh, sensory deprivation tank mm. So it's one of them like It's like Little chamber things yeah. And you open it And it's just like Salt water Like so There's so much salt In the water that it's like literally a, a two foot tub like from the from the ground from and how high the water is. So you're literally when you lay down in there, you're literally just floating. Yeah, when you close your eyes, it feels like you're floating. So we did like a, body we did <laughs> we did that at like seven a.m. for like an hour each. How oh, was it? That was crazy. Were you scared? <laughs> were you tripping or anything? Or were you just <laughs> initially, like, well, initially, it's like a well, thing because yeah, it's dark as fuck when in I, there. Yeah, like when you first get in, they. They have an option where you can have everything turn off or like slowly everything can fade to black type shit. So we did the fade to black. Mm. So it was like the music and the lights will fade to black after like five minutes. Because people can get claustrophobic in there, Bro, right? Bro, I'm not going to lie. When I got in there, I started freaking out a little bit. Because I was like, holy how, shit. How like, small is it? Is it like one of those like electric saunas where you lay down and it's like damn near right on top of you? Or is it like... Oh, the no, the ceiling's like... I would say the ceiling's like this high. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh, the room, The actual like water room is like probably half this room. You got a lot of space to maneuver. What are the benefits of this? So there's no actual like physical benefits. I don't. It's like think. a meditation it's, type. Yeah. Thing. Oh, so okay. it's more of it's more of a mental thing. Right. It's supposed to lower your cortisol levels, which is like stress. Um, but physically, I mean, it just relaxes your body, is it? And you're really just like there mentally. Yeah. It How just kills it everything. Ooh. Yeah. That's why <laughs> I'm like, I'll probably do it once. A, I was like, once a week is probably kind of heavy, but once a month will be cool. But it's like. 85 bucks for an hour for an hour it's more than a studio I mean it's like a massage type shit yeah it's like one of yeah. those like yeah. things you gotta treat yourself yeah. treat your body a form of self care would you would you do that over a massage See, I've never gotten a massage before. Yeah, me neither. I definitely me neither. <laughs> I was like, you guys are definitely gonna want to go get a massage. I went to the chiropractor. Yeah. Nah, I used to go nah, nah. This guy sounds like he has some happy endings. Nah. <laughs> I I I go with my girl. Oh, nice. A couple's massage. That's, wait, a, that's a vibe. Oh, that's a vibe. You, wait, you ever yeah. you ever get a male mas- masseuse? A couple times, yeah. Like, they really be working your back out? You know, oh see, look, like, we could go into this right now. Okay. 
male masseuse is definitely gonna work you out harder than a girl can. Yeah, because yeah. that's fact. Because they're, you that's, know what I mean. That's I'm what I heard. I was like, I had, I'm ten sometimes. <laughs> that's what I, was, I was like, I had, I had like power. athlete homies that were like, they're like, I can't like. They get were it. massaging you. No, they were saying <laughs> the they can't homies. have like a female masseuse. Like uh, they just don't hit those spots. Yeah, it's like yeah. they're not able. Is it because really they don't know or they don't have the physical? They just don't have the physical yeah, prowess. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't have the power, man. I mean, you just gotta. I don't know. I just and I feel like get the knots yeah, like out. if you have a lot of knots in your back. You're going to want Dread. You're going to understand. <laughs> <laughs> a Dread-esque masseuse. Yeah, a Dread-esque masseuse. <laughs> and he gets in the sensory deprivation thing. Is Dread with a snorkel on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why? Why is you your you obsession with Dread? Oh, I feel man. like you bring him up at least once an episode. He definitely comes up once an episode. <laughs> hey, First of all, he's hey, a legend. Hey, ev- <laughs> yeah, so. hey, everybody in the Migos got their role. I'm playing mine. You know what I mean? I like that. Yeah. You're but the yeah, Dread, dread hype, man. <laughs> You're the Dread I, but, I definitely recommend getting a massage. You guys should do I that. Definitely uh, should try I'll, it out. I'll, I'll There's a place one for right my, down the block. I'll probably I'll probably get one for my birthday this year. Why your okay. birthday? Because it's like I'm. Uh, there's I'm different. Cheap. There's different levels of massages too. It's I'll, like I'll treat myself to some. You know, a, a birthday. A birthday massage. Uh, you go to a spa. You know, it's like a whole day whole thing. Day. That's what I'm saying. But they like, have some things here where it's like you just kind of keep your clothes on too, and you could still get a, like a nice massage. Uh, I want that. Trying to get butt yeah, naked. Yeah, I'm trying to get butt we'll naked. Get the rub down. Put my ass cheeks it's, in this wait, bathroom. Hey, until the dress like finger a, comes uh, out. Uh, <laughs> a mud bath and the cucumbers and the whole. Oh, you're gonna get a mud the, bath, the, all right? Yeah. Get the <laughs> juicy you're all, afterwards. You're also gonna have mud butt. I need the charcuterie board and all of that. Are you gonna get charcuteries? <laughs> I want the spa treatment for my birthday this year. I don't right. do shit for my birthday, so I'm like, yeah, this year. What is the needle shit called? Acupuncture. 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 Have you, have, yeah. Is it good? Yep, I've definitely done that. It's uh, this guy's done everything. Cool. <laughs> Cups. Yep, the cupping wow. and the acupuncture. Wow. Ancient Chinese medicine, man. Get educated. Why are you looking at me and saying? <laughs> <laughs> it was a place in Sacramento. It was a place in. Sac, Who put you, you know? onto that? You were just curious, or like? my mom did. My mom put mm. me on a lot of dope shit. To be honest. Shouts out to moms. Shout, Shout out, out to moms. <laughs> Mama. 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 <laughs> For real. But <laughs> it was only like a like a three month thing because it was like the way the insurance worked. Like, Mine was like that with my chiropractor. Yeah. I was going three times a week, bro. I, yeah, I definitely in. was going weekly. It was yeah. so relaxing. Yeah. It was like they put the hot rocks on, they put the Ooh. cupping, Damn, then you go. But honestly, it kind of sucks sometimes because they would put needles like in your face, in your head, like all what over your body. What is that supposed to help shit. with on your face? It's just like small pressure points all over your body like that. Just that do different shit. It's supposed you know? to release toxins and whatnot. Yeah. But I just remember going there and they were just like pretty concerned about me because they were like, oh, your lower back. Like, this ain't good. It's, it's fucked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty oh, much yeah, telling like me, I'm it's like, like yo, scared. you're fucked. Yeah. It's like, you're fucked unless you, unless you pay this hey, so they monthly get, subscription to us. So get this. I, I bought this like medicine from them that I was take, I was supposed to take I took it maybe once or two times I smoked on it and then I had one of the worst anxiety highs ever I was just like I had to focus on my breathing count my shit for like an hour at least I couldn't even stop you focusing just, on were my you breathing like at home or were you I was at somewhere? home and I was telling my mom I was like mom I, I, I just That's smoked crazy. like I think I'm gonna stop breathing if I don't think about it like and I think it was because of those fucking pills. I feel like mm. everybody has, like, a certain thing that they do when they get, like, those anxiety highs, two highs, to kind of bring them back down. For me, it was always, like, a, a good shower. A good long shower will usually bring me back when I've ditched, like, too much acid or something. <laughs> a shower a shower will definitely sober you up. Getting yelled at will definitely sober you up. Getting pulled over. <laughs> uh, Maybe mm-hmm. and getting tased. <laughs> those might, those might. Nothing like a good jolt. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna sober you up, man. Uh, Speaking so of shocking weekend. news, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Oh, we're still on the, uh, the weekend shit. You you done with your? Unless you had oh, actual like, escape. Like, like, was it real shocking news or was it? Nah, not that shocking. But maybe to the viewers. But we gonna keep rocking with the weekend shit. Um. Yeah, that was yesterday. You went to church this morning? Today I went to church at nice. fucking 7 a.m. How was that? Hey, we were both at church at 7 a.m. What? What? <laughs> that uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it was a crazy church. It was a Christian church. So I'm, I'm, I was baptized Catholic, but my mom is Christian. So I went to Christian church before like once. So mm-hmm. this is like my second time ever going. Predominantly black, 
church so it was just oh, was, that yeah. was like a that was definitely a culture shock for sure I like that they um, got vibes yeah it's better they got vibes they got vibes the songs there. be slapping yeah, like, it be vibes in them yeah but I was with my homegirl Drew um a couple of her, her other homies and they did music for like literally like two hours straight it was so just cool. like a bunch of gospel songs and then they the sermon or the uh because the the pastor he's a uh he's a prophet so he can like he has that power to read through people and i was kind of skeptical the whole time i still kind of am until he went and started going around to people and like freestyling (laughs) yeah literally and like like telling them what they the issues they had in their lives and then but you you guys all seen that you guys seen the videos right where they (laughs) touch their forehead (laughs) and they start freaking out i seen maybe like Cause he did like you seen the Holy Ghost touch some. People? He did like forty people today, and all of them had some like crazy freak out thing after he touched them. Did it cost to go there? Was it a mega church? It didn't cost to go there, but you know they had the uh, tithes, tithes and offerings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I sent a little cash app out to them. Oh, they, they take cash they got app everything now? now. They got I everything. I feel like you kind of, oh, you kind of oh, have to like as a modern code? church. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, QR oh, code. Man, they're right, they're just expect everybody to have cash. They're now. gonna it's run up kinda... a bag on you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no matter what, they're gonna run up a bag. <laughs> but nah, uh, <coughs> it was uh, it's definitely a good experience. I was there, dude. I was there from basically seven to like, or no, I got there at eight. It was like eight to three. I got out like three. Were you like, damn, when is this shit gonna end or what? Type, but, no, yeah, as when a I kid, dude, bro. when Church I got in, when I got in the middle, sometimes I would cry. Yeah, I would so three, really cry. Though. That's that's kind of but good. Well, but nuts. it's oh, that's kind of the long way. Though. If it was like a, no offense to cat, I don't want to get too religious, but Catholic churches are boring. So in comparison to to what I went through today, it was like they just kept it fresh. Like it was it was dope the whole time, and I like the way he preaches because. It's not like he's reading a straight scripture. He's kind of like including real life things the to kind of intertwine it, yeah, 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 into real world. Examples. I feel like that's what separates good pastors and bad pastors is just like the application of the scripture. Because oh, sometimes it'd be, I'm just like, sometimes it'd be like you see this, or they try you see and, this twenty dollar bill. I'm gonna crumple it up. I'm gonna throw it on the floor. I'm gonna stomp on it. You still want it? And he'll be like. Just because you've been beat up, abused, <laughs> you, That's never, a classic you one. never lost your value. <laughs> like, You're just like, I don't know. It's just like, I feel like sometimes the correlation just isn't, I don't know. Yeah, he was Big tying time. it in, though. He was going from different scriptures yeah. to this one, like, off the top. Did he bring noggin. up Drake dropping a new album? <laughs> no. Oh, he didn't bring that no. one up? Mm-hmm. But I remember last time I went to a Christian church when I was a kid, they were doing, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Covers of like popping songs at that time. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of hoping for that this time, but so I he's not say. tapped in with the six god. They're definitely not tapped in with the six six six. six he six, thought because the six got dropped. Ooh. The six <laughs> god has dropped, and that shit. He or. thought Donda was gonna be in that bitch. Because <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> I gotta turn my bitch up, turn mm-hmm. my bitch. Up. Crody turn. <laughs> so wait, did the pastor come and like save you or? Or like nah, save I didn't, you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't how go does it up work? There. I don't know if it's called because yeah, he like, was basically prioritizing people with signs, and people's signs were like, "I'm from the UK, I'm from Georgia." Like people were traveling out of town to go to. The, bro, it was there was 500 people in the initial room, and then there was a there's an overflow room with another 500 people, and then there was another room, a second overflow room with like 300. Wow. Yeah, there's a That's lot of people. A super, <laughs> I thought I went to a big church back. My that church back lit. home probably seats like. Five or six hundred people, like max. Yeah. Uh, I've always wanted. There's to... probably like five or six hundred people in there, but it probably seats like I'd probably say like eight hundred max. I knew it was serious when the the line was wrapping around the building. That's type shit. <laughs> but Damn. good thing that's good. We though, cut. I mean... We kind of cut type beat. So. Damn. Yeah. So he was on his holy vibes this weekend. Yeah, yeah I, like I was that. on my spiritual Ooh, vibes. Like you know, that. trying to get right, trying to be sober. I'm like not drinking that. no blue moon with y'all. I'm the yeah. only one with it out. <laughs> I got crazy. one too, but hey, know, cheers, slightly. bro. It's my treacherous little twin right <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, what did y'all get into? Because this dude, we nah, gotta talk about hear, his week. I want to hear about the sack guy. <laughs> the sack guy. Yeah. He went to it. Oh, I'll yeah, let you tell it. He went cool. to Sacramento, California. <laughs> had a cool little weekend. Uh, what I do? Friday, I got in. 
linked up with the boy Nate and, and the other boys. They were in the studio. We made a couple nasties, a couple cool ones. <laughs> a couple nasties. You freestyle? Hey, you can't nah. make the cool ones without making the nasties. Yeah, the <laughs> nasties <laughs> are... Hopefully there's a nasty mixtape coming soon. But, uh, nah, I kicked it with them for a little bit. That was cool seeing them. Um, and then Saturday... I went by my sister's new salon, which was dope. She got a new spot over yeah, Jay's. Clapping up, yeah. 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 She didn't yeah. get you right yeah. or what? Nah, that's that's Thanksgiving. It's a couple weeks from now. <laughs> what she is she gonna she get you right with? She that she knows hair, how to she knows how to f- cut like fade and shit or is nah. It she does so like she does like all shit. like curly hair, so like uh like locks and just like. Mm. Black piece of hair. Does she do perms? Hey, dread up. Nah, she doesn't. Nothing. But is she? Straight, she's gonna. Like, there's gonna be other people hired in there, right? Yeah, she, she's 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 hired two people so far. She said she wants to hire like one or two more. Nice. Man, that's dope. Yeah. Shout out sis. Shout out sis. Because like yeah, all her other spots were kind of like. She had a spot like right across from the Golden One Center, which was nice, but it was still only like, two, like two stations type shit. Mm-hmm. One across from her, like her and one other spot. It was a cool spot, that's but yeah, it was like way small. That's but, prime like, real estate though. Now she could have like six stations. She has like three wash bowls and like multiple hair dryers. So Are right, you like, you stalling out, man? Hello, let's bro. get to the let's get to the meat and potatoes and then, of this okay, weekend, so after man. After I kicked it with my sis, what are you after ta- that, what are you talking about, sir? Wait, what? Happened? What did he do? Uh, I went to my ten year high school reunion. Oh my god! Exactly. No. Why do you think he went back to sack? He went to his ten year the only reason high school no, 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 make no, sure no, they go no, have to go no, through security no. clearance what? fuck no that's not the reason why i went back to sack so i that's went back he came in there like drake no. on the what, uh, <laughs> what i'm upset video i went back to sack of- because i had a shoot at my church this morning mm. but it happened to be on the same that's weekend. what i thought you was out there for yeah that's that's the really reason why i was out there but then malik hit me this mm. week saying like hey the high school reunions on saturday where are you trying to go and i was like, like oh what i'm like if i'm oh it just lined up i'm out here Hey, that's why he rented the Urus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be nuts. It, wasn't, it wouldn't even have been Oh, that's a good it. idea, though. I kind of fuck with that. Is that too much? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going on Toro. I'm for, renting for shit for <laughs> sure. Yeah, hey, but, and then you're renting it from, but, like, a kid you went to high school's dad, so they know it's not yours. <laughs> uh, and then they put you on blast. But, yeah, man, how'd that go? It was cool. Honestly, it wasn't what I expected. I really didn't know what to expect, but, like, it, it, was, it was cool. Catch was it on campus, people. or where was it at? Nah, it was at... Low, uh, low hop, <laughs> hop Gardens. What is that? It's like a little beer tap room. Oh, that's shit. hard. Yeah, it, like over there by Gunther's off Franklin. Uh-huh. So and who was the richest there? Wait, <laughs> it wasn't. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> who like, was up? Was, yeah. Like, <laughs> who's flexing? <laughs> <on these artists? laughs> like, I'm like, Isn't I that don't. What reunions are all about? No, that, that's what like, like, everybody has that. Hey, no, hey, this is about to be a 50 minute topic. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it really, it really isn't. Like, nobody in there was flexing. Like, I think everybody. <laughs> but hey, None I of feel like that. It. I feel like that's why nobody wants to go to reunions because everybody feels like they're gonna show up and get flexed on by somebody. Hey, so uh-huh. they feel like they ain't got it yet. So I'm not gonna show up and somebody shows this, up and, and flex I don't, is harder than yeah, me. Yeah, like everybody's fucking <laughs> bitching I, out. Like I can their see egos, that mentality. Their egos got them in chokeholds. So like, how many? Like in a, that, how many out of your class actually showed up? There was only like like 45, 50 people. Out of how or many like, graduated in your class? There was like two or three hundred. Damn, that's crazy. The rest of them but then it's like, you have to think about it like, bro, <laughs> at this age, it's 10 years, like, people have kids, people have moved out of the city, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, people have a lot more shit. Wait, wait, I have a question. I have a question. Very important question. Did any of the lunch runners show up? <laughs> what are lunch runners? The people that ran to lunch. No. I, I always wanted to know. Were like, you what a lunch runner, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> no. But I'm like, I don't that's, know, man. But that's what I was saying. I was like, I felt like, I wish there were more people from that, that class that showed up. Yeah, like yeah. more people. There, there were more people that I wish I would have seen there. You know, because a few people that I did see, like I, I fuck with, but like it wasn't like my circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, but look, you could run it back. You could run a crazy Friendsgiving. Well, there's some, yeah, I'm not but really trying it, to relink up. Because now. look, why did not? Why, why did people not show up? Was well, that's it because they didn't like, want to get flexed on, or because they didn't know? How I feel like you, it's. It, a, I feel it, like it's a yeah, combination, how, though. Because it's like there's plenty of sent out. Uh, via Instagram, oh, Instagram wow. okay. and Facebook, but I didn't get the Facebook one because mine is deleted. So and I'm like, I feel like that's in, the case with a lot. Who's in charge of that? Is it the valid Victorian's job? Nah, no, it was it was one of the homegirls that. that no, nah, she wasn't even in student government. She just see maybe that's why no one showed up. It was her, yeah, like, but she official. reached. No, she <laughs> reached. Nobody official. Nah, 
nigga. No, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, she she reached out to Mr. Haynes who ran ASB, so he did help kind of bring people together. But I feel like they should have had like a reach out team because like in high school it's nothing but clicks and circles. So it's like I feel like you have to reach out to some of those circles and be like, hey, like invite your people, you know? Because like she, I feel like she did the majority of the reaching out, and like it was a majority of like kind of like that group. And it was people that I fuck with still, but it was like there are so many other people missing. Like, like a lot of the sports people were missing. There was a lot of like other clubs and like cheerleaders and like you know what I mean. Like there was a lot of people that it was like I, I didn't get to see type shit. You know? Were you kind of nervous to go to see like some old people that you don't fuck with no more? There wasn't nobody that I didn't really fuck so with. So who'd you shit on? I shit on nobody. <laughs> hey, was there any old Habibi tings? That <laughs> oh, oh yeah, who glowed up the most? You. Damn near. <laughs> wait, wait. Did it feel good did, when you told people you worked at No Jumper? Because I'm guessing you had that conversation with somebody. Had to come Nobody up. knew. That's not Dick Rod Nobody right knew now. what No Jumper was. I hate wow. that. I hate that explanation. Where it's like, or like people were like, ah, all right. Like they, there were a few people where it's like, oh, like once you say like Adam Twenty Two, or like they're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah I've heard of oh, it. Yeah, like a lot of people oh, yeah, have like, talk. they're like, I've heard, they're like, I've heard of No Jumper, but like nobody, there wasn't like large majority are like oh no jumper no jumper you know that meme where it's like the dude at the side of the party and he's like they don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't even know type jumper. shit I was yeah. like just <laughs> they don't know I edit <laughs> they don't know, they don't know I'm the hella face. cold with after effects nice. Nice. so did you did you but it was, it you was, knock anything no, <laughs> oh, bro. That's also a thing of the <laughs> reunion <laughs> there Can wasn't we? there wasn't nothing worth knocking there Okay, Boo. it was a weak ass reunion. Then it sounds like, like I didn't even see yeah, that shit it was on your like, story. but that's what I'm saying. Like it was. I know he didn't. Damn, I posted that. I reposted Jasmine. She posted that picture. That's what that picture oh, was from. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It was, was there like, food? yeah, it was like so. It was like a beer slash pizza spot. So they had like pizza and like fucking. How long? How shit. long was it? It was from five to eight. Oh what? But then it's like after eight, like I mean, we ended That's up chilling there. Too, like, <laughs> <laughs> now we chilled there to like maybe like ten, eleven, and then we slid to a couple other bars with with a few of the folks there. So what you're saying is you feel like you could throw a better one? I feel like I would have reached out to more people to reach out more. Like I feel like it could have been better if that was done, or like yeah, I guess if it was done more in advance, I guess because I feel like I kind of heard about it like I'd say like the last like week, past week or two. Yeah, I would have told everybody from the top of the year. Send it out to everybody that I know. Tell them to send it out to everybody from our yeah, class. Yeah, like eight. Hey, yeah, like Project X. Like really, I put it on Craigslist, bro. Fuck okay. <laughs> I mean, something like what you that. Want? Or like you want an Instagram people, or you want ad. Five hundred like, people. I want people that actually went to yeah, the school. Yeah, because I feel like <laughs> not the sixty. I feel like if there was a way bigger turnout, it would have been way more lit. Because I feel like catching up with people. It's like, bro, in high school, nobody yeah, well, knows who they are. That was the yeah. dope part. Like. Seeing them now, it's like you could right. talk to them, and it's like they're way more like in tune with themselves as a human being, you know. Like, All right, but think about it like this: you invite everyone, but everyone from the reunion has like a VIP area, so it's like, <laughs> you know, you are you are a classist. He just wants to feel superior. Than other He's people. the one that wants to show up and flex, or yeah. doesn't show up because he doesn't want to get flexed <laughs> on. Valet the urine? No, I'm definitely valeting the urine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll ride my bike there. Who cares, man? Let's go walk there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, that was cool. But overall, overall, you had a good time? Yeah, overall. Because mine's solid. next year, so I'm just like, oh, wow. Fuck, wow. See, that was, but go. that's what we were talking about there. I was like, I wish it kind of would have been like a joint thing with like the year before us and the year like after type shit. Because it's like, I knew hella people from, from those two years too that I feel like would have been dope to see. But it's hella like, underclassmen, huh? You just don't get to. I mean, yeah, I mean, play basketball, so it's like... So you were dating under class. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on. I was on the basketball team, so I wasn't, I was no, bro. I wasn't fucking with what no bitches mean? in high school. I was a, I was a lame nigga oh, yeah, in high you school. Didn't, yeah. I didn't lose my... We college, talked about that. Yeah. yeah, it was second year of college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hit it one more time. Yeah. Not but I was excited for Mike's reunion. Yeah, because I had to hit it one more time. No, but I'm excited for mine because we did a... I don't know if you guys did this too, but we wrote to ourselves... Like we gave, uh, we wrote a letter and then we gave it to the whoever was planning it, and then they're you gonna think bring it's still it still there. Back. I hope. How does that Did person like? What if that person just like? Well, I don't, I'm not like ten years later. Like I'm really not trying to be. The, well, I'm not trying to hold all these <laughs> papers. <laughs> I'm not trying to plan <laughs> like this shit. Like a time capsule. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. I think we did one of those too, but I don't think I was like specifically involved in it. But my class did it. I just. It was like certain clubs or whatever. You oh, know? y'all went uh, to the show. I feel like we might school. have, but it was like, I feel like it was one of those things where it's like, we probably took it home with us. I don't think anybody kept if I, our... If, if I need those memories, I'm just opening my yearbook. 
Hags, you know, have a great <laughs> summer. Somebody did bring their yearbook down. Hags. Far, it, like. You never got your yearbook signed at the end of the I did, but they definitely wrote out and have a well, I mean, senior year, they didn't write have a great summer. It was like, yo, like, hopefully we see each other Well, again. I'm talking middle school, 10 years. I mean, oh, yeah. Well, I was thinking middle school. Middle school, they did a time capsule. I don't know about nice. high school. Yeah. Time yeah, capsules, yeah, man. Yeah. We sh- I mean, we actually, let's get real deep. All our videos are time capsules. Yeah. That's yeah, a fact. man. They live on forever. Ooh. I got a lot of shit on YouTube, too. Pause. Oh, we know. Yeah. Pa- Wait, how's that pause? What's your most popping video? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've had multiple channels with me and my brother. We did a bunch of gaming stuff. We did fingerboards. We did. Why are you calling them fingerboards? That's what they're called. You can call I hate when people call them tech decks. That's because not tech deck is only a brand. Yeah, among, tech deck is a brand of a fingerboard. Just like Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, bro, it's mm. Vaseline, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's Vaseline, I'm not calling that shit petroleum jelly. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, do you have any petroleum, petroleum jelly? jelly? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a war. Uh, it's nigga, a get, don't <laughs> ever talk board. to me again if you call it petroleum jelly. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm glad you had fun at your high school reunion. <laughs> no, yeah. Just I wish good. more people showed up, and if all no, you, thanks. yeah, that's like 20 percent of your class showed up. That's yeah, literally. Of I was on like, bruh. My class was like, yo, I'm trying like, to flex on niggas. Hope, hey, hope y'all make it to 21, man. I was like, yeah, you're <laughs> half your class dropped out like and died during the year, right? <laughs> and died. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a couple of them died, but RP did not. Same here too. I mean, I would definitely go to my high school reunion next year. I think maybe I don't know because also it's like. <sighs> See, I feel like the you're the type. To, yeah, I was like, like <laughs> I feel like the hater in you, and then it's like, holding me back right now. Because I don't know like, if you ha- you were the same you in high school, so you might have oh, hella no, haters. I ain't never like, changed. He I said never you changed. Up. I never changed. No, I was like, already, I don't know if you did or not. Already, so I'm like, I feel like you might have niggas pulling up to the reunion for beef still. You know, like, oh, I hope Trevor's oh. here so I could I could run that fade you know, that I no, never I, got to run with I, him type I, shit. Never had any beef. I already know what type of time Trev's on when he goes to his reunion. Yo, yo, Are you showing up with your girl? Your tone. Because that was what another thing. I was like, there were some people that showed up with their <laughs> with their significant other. Like others were just like, you know, are you showing up with your girl? <laughs> That's interesting. I think there's two combos going on right now. But yo, Trev, Trev, Trev it. Wait, what what was a good one. Trev bringing tone. To the- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As, As a security. security. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> nah, man. Um, I never had any beef, but I would probably bring my girl. Yeah. I think isn't that a thing? That's definitely is that a lot. That's she a went lot. to the no, yeah, high school. That's what I was saying. I was like, some people did. Like, oh, honestly, looking at it though, I don't the know. Rival. Like, if she went to the rival school, it, it's different. Nah, we're past that. Like, he also we're ten years past. Like, You're not. You're still posting the. Hey, husky, the, the husky, husky nation, <laughs> the husky with the eagle on his mouth. F- how did you find that picture? <laughs> I typed in Google husky eating uh fucking eagle, bro. We got nice. eagle. <laughs> Exactly. Have some fucking school spirit. <laughs> I feel like you said that exact same phrase last time. After yeah, you after we, yeah, yeah. I'm it's consistent. Like boo, My bro. bad. Yeah, like, hey. that's why I was like, wait a second. It's called being consistent. Uh, <laughs> all right, we all talked about our fucking weekend, right? Let's uh, talk about Drake rapping about Adderall. Uh, oh. oh, man. No, because now everyone's going to be shit. like, oh, yeah, it's been so cool. We were first. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that what you want? She you wants your flower, your Adderall flowers. I feel like that is just, the first Drake Addy bar, though. Come on, yeah, man. It is. I've never first heard of first drug bar. He, what he talked about X for the first time. Oh, I popped the X for the first time, and it, I felt like the two time champ or whatever the fuck he nah, said. Now he had those way back, like thirteen hours till I land. Got me out like a what? Like a light. That was Zanny. I took a half. She took or the he, whole. No. Thing. He was in the, <laughs> Shorty got a little candy in her pocket. <laughs> you know he's taking some of that candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's fully, t- he's fully turns out now. He got a sweet tooth. He's gonna get <laughs> he got a sweet yeah. tooth. You know how sticky it gets. Uh, uh, read, uh, read, uh, wait, wait, wait. Didn't you have an announcement on this whole Drake? Let's just talk Drake right now. An Let's announcement. Go into that. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Read, Show, your... read the text that you sent us. Oh, the tweet that yeah. I seen. Oh, that was a tweet? Yeah, it was a tweet. Because I got it as a text message. I know you did. I feel like he copied it. I didn't yeah. know that like, though. That's did like, you crop that? Yeah, you cropped nah, the text. He, he, he copied and pasted that. He copied and pasted it. And he's been. Yeah. I feel like he's been sending that around to everybody. Uh, actually, I seen it on the toilet while I was here, and I sent it to you. This dude said, "When I was a certified lover boy, nothing was the same. But honestly, never mind. There's more views to see and more life to live. It was really her loss." You can thank me later. Wait. <laughs> that was Kelvin now after his care. reunion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I walked out. 
<laughs> hey, those TikToks of the outro music. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right, so how how are we feeling about this though? This that this one? Drake Twenty One because I think it's fire as fuck. I love it. It was cool. And I'm dig riding fully for it because I'm ready to really ride. Good. I told them I was ready to ride. I'm ready I was ready to, to ride. ride. Pre- six, 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 six. I fuck with it. Pre pod. Yeah, cool. Yeah, man, talk was, your shit, bro. Come on. I'm like yeah, somebody has to be a contrary. Yeah, you got to like, on it. Yeah. It was it was cool, but I feel like it wasn't that. That's the one reason why I hate Drake is because I feel like people are just like. Oh, it's Drake, and they think everything he does is just like so fucking amazing. And it's like it is good, but I feel like they don't, they don't, they don't be don't really know. listening. Like <laughs> they just are so thirsty for some new Drake, they just fucking you feel take like whatever he drops. Do you, you feel know? like that's something that he's earned though, to where he can just drop shit and people just love it? Well, yeah, you know. But it's like, and let's be real. I don't know. So like, what you're bro, saying is, you're I not... feel like people don't. When it comes to Drake, sometimes I feel like people don't have a mind of their own. I can understand that. And that's a, what I hate. And a, so that's what makes me not enjoy his albums as much when they drop or like I really have to listen to them because everybody's so just like, no, nah, it was the most of me. It, bro, it's Drake. Did you not listen? And he, he said, Addy, and he picked up a tree. And he, I'm like, bro, like, Talk nigga. About you. <laughs> like, you already yeah. know. Talk your shit. Man, and yeah. He was like, oh, I already know the course to every song. I can't wait to, I'm, <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. I'm about to pop out. And I'm like, yeah, he ain't hella yeah. mad at his reunion. Bro, like, <laughs> yeah, you were hella mad. Cause not because like I said, it. I did. One, can you no, do something for me? <laughs> Mine don't pussy in there. Mine, like, <laughs> man, he was driving back from sack listening to that but, shit. shit no, nah, there was a couple. Like I said, like the yeah. the jumbotron shit popping was the well, best song on her to me. All right, Kevin, but man. like, it was it was solid. Like I did like it. I have to listen to it again. But like, as far as like it being like s- setting the world on fire, like. I wasn't like super blown away, but sonically I do like the range. Like he did do a lot of a lot of little bit of everything, which I, I fucked with. I mean, I definitely can see your point of like, all right, Drake's always got he can do no wrong, and I I don't like that vibe either. But right now, after him coming off the honestly never mind, like we were expecting a rap album with that. Yeah. So now the hunger for a rap album from Drake is intensified. That's why people are hyping this shit up. Plus, it's 21. Plus, the rap game right now is dry as fuck. It is. Or uh, yeah, it's just. And that's why he came with that yeah. shit. You know, it's like it's easier to look brighter in front of nothing else that's shining. You know. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's only so there's right only now, three other lights in the room. Yeah, right now there's not a lot of lights in this rap game. Yeah. All I know is there's a certain thing. There's just certain things that. Drake can say that no other rapper can get away oh, with. Oh yeah, like what the stallion bar? Any bro, there's so there's so many Drake bars that only he could say. Yeah. And and going back to your point, maybe he maybe he's earned that. Maybe that's the phenomenon that's within it. But yo, if any other of these rappers said some of these things that Drake's saying, you're out of here. But see, I don't even think I think it's just his delivery. I feel like he's mastered his sound and like how he's able to say shit to where it does come off like super player or super like sympathetic or you know what I mean like I feel like he really is like mastered that like he's able after to after he just hated on his shit that's no crazy. but that's what I'm saying like, but I'm not a, I'm not, just a master that's what I'm saying I'm not a hater there's, there's like I said I already said there's person that I appreciate no, yeah, yeah. but I'm not sucking his dick like the rest but, of y'all you know what I'm saying but when I hear that I think I, 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 I hear like being cancelled are you talking about being cancelled no or not just, being cancelled just corny just call, yeah come off as lame come off corny. as corny I could see that too it's not corny when Drake says it but that's it, yeah. Drake's but been, I feel like it is, but it isn't. You Drake's know, like people laugh skirt. at it still, but they'll slap it still. You yeah, know, because it's like it's almost expected. It's like it's Drake. Right, so what were some corny bars? Let's the see. The Adderall bar. <sighs> uh, I mean, I'll let that one rock. Because we be lifting trees. I don't even want to like not even just on this album, like just throughout his career, some of the things that he said. But yeah, that's the thing. He's been saying this for like ten. Yeah, years. Yeah, so he's it's had like been corny. corny. So yeah, he, he's kind of been. But corny. he's like cool yeah. corny. Yeah. Why though? Because they used to like because he, he's mastered of the the art of rapping in fucking in Instagram captions. But I feel like that's always been like actual good rap. Like when you break down like good rap, they should all be bars. Like each bar should be. So do you like Drake or and no? <laughs> <laughs> I never said I didn't nah, like nah, him. Like, yeah. bro, y'all want me to not but, like but, this but nigga. People, like, but people quoting Jake. I just hate the dick right But people bro. quoting J. Cole versus Drake is just. It's different. It's well, that's what I'm saying. It's like Drake. Well, J. Cole lost, man. That's just because. Well, I feel it's like over with. when it comes for bar for bar, I feel like Drake is a better like 
rapper in that sense. Like his each one line holds way more weight than J. Cole's like each one line. I feel like Drake's I mean J. Cole's like verse, it's like written to like paint a picture or like tell a story. Like J. Cole's but like, trying to do laundry for you. <laughs> but like, <laughs> trying to Drake's clothes. like one bar, it's like each line is just like each line is a picture he's painting. It's a caption. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's yeah. different in that sense, you know. That's what it's like. Nobody's competing with Drake. Do the that, streets right? need more IG caption rap or what? The streets always need it. Yeah, because there's a lot of fluff in rap right now. They be talking about some old bullshit, or they're just not player or baller enough to talk about real shit. You know. Like, I feel like Drake has experienced so fucking much. He has so much to talk about. Essentially, my favorite track like, on that joint is "Middle of the Ocean." Yeah, great song. Because he just be he's just talking about some rich shit. And I'm <laughs> yeah. like, damn. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm like, next I feel like, flexing, like I feel like Rick Ross was like the only other rapper that I felt like kind of really got in that player back. Did Rick Ross not do that from no, like 2010 not to Flex like Rick Ross? Rick Ross is the like, king of that's lug- luxury rap. He's the first person that I've heard like when Officer I've heard Ross. of like luxury rap. Like that was Rick Ross to me. Like he's the first person that I heard. He's he, going like, to, I feel like Drake mastered that. He's going to explain to you how bad his bitch is sitting in this Maybach <laughs> and how hella, how good how good hella smooth like exactly how this pasta to taste <laughs> yeah. and you and know, what what he has on his his fingers and wrist at the and, time and, and, and how like, these how these pineapples are diced. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of speaking of drake and rick ross let's go Oof. back and look at their origins drake was an actor they say rick ross was a ceo right yeah okay. wow. so how much of this rap game is acting I think a lot of it is a good amount of it. I feel like it's um or like playing a character. You know, it's funny. Playing is, a, yeah, we was having this conversation with Sharp a couple months ago at the office, the old office, and uh, that was one of the things I pointed out. It's like he's a Drake is a rap actor, so he's a yeah. raptor. Toronto no Raptors. Six 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 six. six, six, six. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were off that shit yeah. that day. <laughs> nah, nice. but I feel like that that is one of the few things that makes Drake great in his sense is like he knows that whole acting background and I feel like that's why he's willing to experiment with shit like when he was doing the whole like UK rap sound with like war and shit like, like that and I'm, like he well, get he's able to get away with like trying shit like that because it's like as an actor you kind of have to be it's able range. to range yeah it's like you have to be able to try and tap into some of those roles to like grow your craft essentially and he's good at every different style he does like an actor playing a role or playing a scene it's like okay today I'm a Jamaican style rapper, <laughs> but I feel like I feel like it's because he's like rich black. enough to immerse <laughs> himself like in black. that. He'll fuck around and live in Jamaica for three months, and yeah. then really, you know what I'm saying? It's like not every he's method rapper. Acting. He's method rapper. No, method <laughs> rapper. He's a method wow. rapper for sure. Wow. And nobody's Dude, touching him the on that. <laughs> nah, I'll Might give have cracked him that. the Da Vinci Code right <laughs> That's there. The pod title, possibly. <laughs> I'll give him that for sure. Because think about it, man. If you could, if you could act. You're very good at manipulating situations. You're very good at adapting situations. So it's like those are Ooh. two key aspects on getting your way in things, right? Like Yeah, but sometimes it's not even like you're sometimes you're not able to like really just manipulate that situation. Sometimes you're just able to mirror something. You know? Like there's a difference between really like all right, becoming this person and like thinking and acting like them compared to like seeing it and kind of just like mirroring it and regurgitating but if you believe you are that that's what i'm saying i feel like there's a different level of like really taking yourself to like really get into that do y'all feel like he's done it tastefully though because we've seen this shit with x stole his flow with that he went into dance hall well just like you were saying i feel like he always does it but but we but we but we know that's him and i feel like the i feel like what's really important in rap is brand awareness and I feel like Drake has a lot of that. Yeah. He knows what his brand is. He knows what the people want. Even though sonically the music si- might sound differently, like you said, he might tap into Jamaican Drake. But he knows who he is and what his brand is. You know what I mean? And I, feel no, like- I want to say brand aware. I would say market awareness. Like he knows what's popping, so he's gonna hop on this. No, he's just a good actor. Yes, but but you um, but you can know what's popping and hop on it, and it can be bad. But he knows how to incorporate his brand into what's popping. Well, I feel like uh, that's. But I think that's the thing. Is like. He's stolen direct flows before. Yeah. But, but what he like does is, though, he goes to, like, the people who are leading in that sound and then goes collabs with them. He's, he's put himself like in a good position. Like yeah, where he's, like, he's playing chess with it. 
the fucking block boy JB. We've seen it. We've seen it. He's done it with yeah, everyone. Yeah, no, like that's yeah. how he's maintained his relevance. No facts. And I feel like you. I mean, what? He's smart about it. You you have to. The same way we know like youth run the culture. It's like I feel like he understands that. We're not gonna say Kanye didn't do the same thing. With what? He did. Well, with Chief Keef. With Chief Keef. With Melly. With yeah. With Lil Pump. He didn't do it as successfully. No, but I think that's because <laughs> I feel like he didn't do it as successfully because like he's not as good as Drake when it comes to like having his sound polish or Kanye experiments with his sound too much. You know, I like feel I like, feel like Drake's sound is so dialed in. It's like Chris Brown, like Chris Brown is only gonna <laughs> sound so bad on a track because he's done it for this long, you know, like Drake's sound is so dialed in, he's only gonna sound so bad even if he is trying some new I shit. I feel like Kanye tried to do that shit on Donda. Like, oh, let me just put a bunch of all these new rappers together, like Lil Baby and fucking Playboy Cardi, Cardi, The Weeknd, Migos. Like, Thug. you just try to throw everyone on there, and it's like, we kind of saw how that. I mean, the album still did well, but it's like, to me, it didn't sound like a coherent album. Cause I feel thing. like it's he's just a, a bunch of tracks that yeah. he just put together with like some popping artists. Uh, Drake has done that too, but I feel like Drake, Drake has, is always music has always been at his forefront of his career, like. Oh well, yeah, I feel like Kanye. He has so much other shit that he's doing. Like I feel like. Well, yeah, I was just saying musically, but yeah, musically, yeah, Drake has surpassed Kanye years ago. No, immensely. But I what? feel like that's why Kanye's will never sound that good anymore because his passion isn't in music like that anymore. You know. You feel like he's tarnished it by now too. Not even, not, not even, even like the, ex- not even the extra like, shit that he's been doing recently, no, but like I just musically. Feel like I feel like it's not tarnished if he decides to like rededicate himself to music. You know, like Drake is still dedicated to music. That's why his music still sounds great. You can hear the dedication in his music. Yeah, but we're talking about brands and branding and shit. Like Kanye's brand is kind of questionable. It's a little bit all over the place. Dude, but no, I'm, just, I'm just saying musically though. Like, do you feel like Kanye has dropped? A they bunch bleed of, over. Like, I feel like Kanye has dropped a bunch of half-ass music. Some of it hits because it's still Kanye and his production level is great, you I know, mean, but yeah. it's not like... I think fire music is always going to hit. But Drake doesn't have a My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. No. But see, that's what I'm saying. That's when what? Kanye was no, in doesn't. his fucking music. What, what, uh, al- what album is his My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? Take Care? Yeah, I would say that would yes. be the closest one to that, but yeah. It's and still what does, it still doesn't <laughs> even <laughs> what, 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 was, what, was, what was My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy to Kanye? What do you mean? Like what, what? What did that represent? Did it represent crazy growth? What was it? Was it crazy? It sound? was just well, like, well, to you. Well, what at, was it? Well, at that time, like each album ne- didn't sound the same from college dropout. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It sh- it showed evolution, and I feel like that was the peak. Yo, ar- it was. It's arguably one of the best albums of all time. Yeah, arguably. And the the just the collaborations on there. Like Everything. if you yeah. look at all the the uh, the credits, yeah. That, to each song, there's like people that have written on there that you wouldn't even think wrote. Yeah. On. It was, but it, I, yeah, that's just how we put, put it together. In he room. literally yeah. composed that, composed and they were it. they were there. They were like locked in for like they months. They had to wear suits. They, were all they suits had to wear to the suits. studio. <laughs> Yo, so and, that's that's why it's tight. No, no but it's like the music sounds fire. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I feel like all of that passion and dedication that he put into that, you can hear it. It, it translates you can hear to the, the music. You can hear mm-hmm. the effort in the music. It all translates to the music. And you guys don't feel that with Take Care. No. no, but take care. Is just I feel like really it sounded good, good but I yeah, it was like it wasn't. Con- it wasn't like that. This crazy also like art. pushed the sound. Like I feel like take care didn't really like. I go back push to, music forward. I go back to take care before I go back to my beautiful dark. Nah, I see, I feel you like, haven't big. You haven't been back to it feel, in a while. That's probably why. I go back. I, I feel like we, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I go back to take care more than that yeah, too. But because I feel like my beautiful dark is a fantasy is a, like a cinematic film. Like you got to kind of like indulge yourself into it. I can't listen to just one off track sometimes like, like I'm not listening to power well yeah solo uh, you know what I mean uh, <laughs> are you he's listening to hell oh, yeah that, fucking right yeah <laughs> well uh, <laughs> fucking, well I mean w- yo with uh, let's just say 808s and heartbreaks like it changed where hip hop was at you know what I'm saying I don't I feel like Drake never did that well I mean I just even though f- Drake wrote on that <laughs> I, I'm just curious because I I, how do we judge like what makes an album good you know is it is it listen time because if we if, I, if we're looking at that it's like take care I've listened to take care way way more than that you know but is that a True. fan or is that like a critical like art critique of like okay my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is artistically more cohesive 
then take care yeah, and, yes. you know There's and the timing of when it drops variables. and all these like i feel yeah. like, i feel like they're different conversations and it's like it's like different stats that you want to go by so it's like yeah like yo like if we're talking about like oh what which one's a better album i feel like it's a very it's a blanket question you feel yeah. me like which one is your favorite would be a better question which one was most influential yeah. you know like, what yeah, i mean yeah, like, like it's, there's different there's ways to group it yeah but i feel like which one is better is just it's, yeah, it's in the eye of the beholder right. it's like if you like this one more that's on you and if you think that one's better that's that's your opinion you feel me and i can't knock you for that but to me it was more we, impactful yes yes like in like the the rap scene hip hop not just cuz yeah. you make music hip-hop. too you kind of have that background as a creator in music yeah, it's hit, like so it's like i, I could see shit. you appreciating it more than just the general consumer you yeah. know yeah yeah it, it kind of sucks <laughs> like oh once you l- start looking through things in that lens yeah and um same thing with like when i like just just recently like when I watch movie, it kind of ruins movies and shit. Cause now I'm like looking at like, oh, like if if I like something, I'm always thinking about why I like it, and, or if I don't like something, I'm thinking about why I don't like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, how they do the and lighting. And it'll take I, you I, out I, the whole. And shit. it takes you, it takes you out of the immersion mm-hmm. of it. You know what I mean? And when you have like just a, a a consumer's ear, where you're not thinking about those things, it's just all feeling. It's just a very different experience. You know what I mean? So innocent. And I feel like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. No, facts. Facts. no, it really no, is. Facts. And I feel like some of the people that create the best music can kind of turn that on and off and become and can become a consumer while still creating. Yeah. You know what I mean? And view it through these people's like eyes. Maybe that's what Drake is really good at. Dumbing himself down? Yeah. He can just like... Well, just He know. knows what's going to sound good in the streets. Or like... He's just out there enough to where it's like, you know, it's like, I mean, they always he's said, like, he knows the bars. Like, all right, I know the shit that I can write to really hit. But like, as far as like the sound, you know, like he's really, I mean, a part of it too is like copying, you know, following sure. trends, artists copying, right. stealing. Artists we live stealing. in a generation steal. of not, not being, being in love, love, not being together. <laughs> but it feels like we are. Come the on, liquid man, beast me. <laughs> <laughs> the gunshot I got black, 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 black. <laughs> man, I got a piss y'all are we still going or what yeah man come yeah, on come we're on, still going that was just bad what'd you just say Kelvin nah. Bernard <laughs> <laughs> no I, hey, but I mean it's on my IG it no, says no, no, Kelvin yeah. Bernard but it's interesting because for those who don't know I have a new roommate he's Jeez. wearing blue yeah he just went to his reunion. Hey, how's it feel? Moved out that lame ass house. Now I'm in here with hey, a real nigga. Now you the know pod is split up between like who lives in which house. <laughs> it's split up between houses. No, it's yeah. split up. It's some Game of Thrones. This is like King's Landing, you know, and that's kind of like King's Landing was definitely here. Yeah, nah, <laughs> the curtain. Oh, yeah, We're getting real nerdy. Oh shit! Wait, wait, who's that? The curtain. Oh, no. oh all right. I thought someone knocked. I was like, don't open it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clutches like, the couch. <laughs> like, <"Fuck." laughs> who is it? Now it's really split up between like, you know, like who's who's really, you know, with the shits. What? <laughs> <laughs> what does that I even was mean? We're in to see where you're going to go. Yeah. Nah. This, you you, you want to do drive-bys on your shit now or something? Nah, nah, or not with the shit. Is like it getting that. spunky? Yeah, right we now? got we got the drop on y'all. Yeah, we do got the we drop. Got on the y'all. I don't got the <laughs> drop on y'all. I probably got more drop on y'all than y'all got on Trev. I sit behind you. At work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he thinks he's gonna make it to work. Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> what? <laughs> Them tires are getting slashed, <laughs> my boy. What is this a fucking horror movie? <laughs> this is slash my tires? Yo. Man, kick my door in and beat me up. Hey, yeah. hey we would definitely beat you on a game of basketball, though. Mm. Stop. Trev is your weakest link. But it doesn't matter. I'm that nice to where it's like, Trev honestly yeah. doesn't even need a play. It damn near could be two on one. No. We could really run that because this is like, come you wanna on. You want to put money on that? Yeah, of course. I have oh, play, but wow. we could do we it. We could put 50 on that. That's Ooh. easy. We could put 100 on that. Hey. Uh, hey. This is the matchup right here? This yeah. is the matchup? Yeah, this is the matchup. 100? No, no, 50. 50 uh, each. I'll run 50? Yeah. No. 50 total, 25 each. <laughs> 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 All right, now, ready. 50 each. Oh. 50 each. 
page. Let's do, let's do it. Oh, this is getting documented and uploaded. Hey, don't sell. New <laughs> new vlog coming soon. Coming soon. Oh yes. I never even played basketball before, but yeah. See, you know? it's we all just good, pass my it to boy. Trips, guard. All you gotta, know, all you gotta I, do is play a little bit of defense. I'm kind of uh, weary of people who say that. You know, like oh, so I so never strange. played this before. <laughs> and then they show up there <laughs> and they're fucking. You play D one. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up in a head He's banging and out shooter t- sleeve, t- tomahawking in. <laughs> They're throwing alley oops. He has to some each other. player exclusive Kobe's that they're, have never been released. They're doing layup lines. Like you can only get those if you went to Duke. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, I'm not. He has I, a Compton I literally... Magic socks. <laughs> Compton Magic though. The Oakland Rebels. Yo, the, the soldiers. <laughs> the Oakland Soldiers. He, he, played, yeah. he played with Kiwi Gardner. <laughs> you guys are getting way too deep right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's all oh, good. That's shoot. how you know you don't hoop, though. We got yeah, him in the bag. Yeah, yeah we could do that. But because look, I'm looking at it like this. Even if I don't know how to hoop, I can guard you. No. I'm, See? In mm. terms of being, I think I'm more athletic than Boston. I'm sorry. I, I think I'm more mm. athletic than you two. Oh. Him? No. It's questionable. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I bet. We gonna he see. did play uh, on teams before. I've never played, played on a soccer. team. I've played, I've played soccer. I've never played I've a team I've played sport played baseball. Before. I skateboarded. You know what's very interesting about that? Like, I do not care. And <laughs> 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 hey, when you paint up that yeah, I was like, I, I care. Care. don't care when, he, nah, when he's treating lunch. I'm, gi- I'm giving you the... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have here. the. S- s- oh yeah, no. Nah, hey, give me a screen. Get Kelvin off me. <laughs> Trips out of here. But yeah, that's where you guys might get me with the strategy, because you guys know strategy. I don't know strategy of uh, all, basketball. There's no pick and it's rolls. only two oh, on pick and rolls. No pick that's, and rolls. that's all you gotta run. What about the pick and pop though? Two two, like, <laughs> oh, he wouldn't know what to do. Y'all can't shoot. <laughs> oh, you want to? I'm leaving y'all open on that. Hell no, nah, I'm stripping you. Stripping yeah, no handle. But they right, well, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I said you don't have a jump shot and your rebuttal is I'm stripping you. Yes, because we're gonna Which have, is another can false. Can we go statement. play no, no. after this podcast? Uh, no. Damn near. Twenty four is twenty four. Why not? It's twenty four hours. I'm not doing it. I gotta be up at seven. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be there at seven AM though. Why? Huh? Oh, you're gonna that's, be that's at my the morning gym. routine, yeah. Yeah, so just leave me there at seven AM. You only about that money. <laughs> you really I run it after work tomorrow. After I got a podcast. Work? I'm busy tomorrow, but oh, yeah. we, can, we can run it. Like I'm right. not scared. Yeah. We can uh, do it. Just no, know we're gonna be superior. Ooh, <laughs> you ever yeah. seen? You ever seen dodgeball? Was, <laughs> you ever seen dodgeball? That's yeah. what we are. Your patches are the average. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking legend. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Now nah, you're a. <laughs> yeah, I can't, you can't re- even think of I it. I can't remember the characters. From I know. Yeah, all nah, of you're them. the fucking pirate. Oh, he he was going dumb. You're you're Ben Stiller. Who's Vince Vaughn? Ben Stiller. I'm probably Vince Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> the way he clutched up at the end, though. Ooh, yeah. No, you're definitely. Well, then not we're all Vince on the same Vaughn, team. Dude. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck just happened, bro? Wait, the nah. pirate dude won two in the end. You guys were all average <laughs> shows. Yeah, you you were at Global Gym and lost. <laughs> All right, well, look. You're Michelle. Whenever <laughs> whenever you guys want to smoke, yeah, let, we're let, ready for it. We'll schedule know. it out. Come on, man. We'll put the money where our mouth's at. In the comment section below, you know, <laughs> comment who you think will win. You know what I mean? I realize we've been asking questions in the and comments. And they don't. They, they never really do not. <laughs> they keep calling me the fake <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing. That's one of those things where it's just like, damn, like maybe I should just stop that shit. Like, just disable the comments. <laughs> no, no, keep the comments going, but just stop asking them nah, I'm the questions. Comment section because they nah, always nah, ignore. So, they just there's so, there's yeah. sometimes there's one. There's one. Yeah. Exactly. I'd rather have none. But for the most part, yeah. I feel like if, the, if we drag, drag on, on whatever the fuck if we drag on the say. topic long enough, they have to talk about it. Yeah, like the Drake one is gonna be definitely gonna be comments, comments on. It's gonna that. be like, we don't care about your guys' musical opinions. <laughs> stop dick riding. Yeah, stop dick riding. All that. Luckily, Big Kelvin was dick riding. Y'all was yeah. out there oh, slobbing man. on this shit. <laughs> No. You hated on him, then you bounced on it after. So yeah. that's, nah, even, I didn't worse. that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> like nah. the backpedaling yeah. was crazy. Because yeah. I didn't, I didn't. One, I didn't hate on it from the jump. I was just not bouncing on it. And then, secondly, I didn't start bouncing on it. All I did was he did give him hit the few flowers that I think he deserves. He doesn't deserve he's the such fucking... a lyricist. All his fucking lines are always hit. Yeah, yeah those are those are. Those <laughs> and, are and, I, but before that, it was like everybody thinks he's old. Uh, <laughs> he's people, so yeah, good. People oh, y'all have a mind. People don't have a mind for their own. They don't. Because <laughs> y'all literally didn't. And I think y'all still don't. And people still don't. It's all good. We'll let the comments I'll decide. I'll give him his two flowers. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to give him a whole bouquet. Y'all showed up with the fucking... 
lube in the honey pack and a, a bouquet of flowers. Him, I gave him the edible yeah. arrangements. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, thanks. Those are like, expensive. Bro, Those he, are expensive. That nigga did not deserve all that. Oh, he deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything for the nice. six guys. Can we, nice. Nice. Can, nice. We, can we speak on daylight savings? Oh, yeah. Because yeah, last night it, tripped me out. It, it was fucked like, me up. Yeah. Wait, I didn't even know. <laughs> I, had to show, I had to show up to that shoot at seven, but I was like, okay, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get my six hours of sleep. I got, I got home kind of late. My shit went off. And then I got in the car and the, the car clock didn't, it didn't yeah. bounce back. So then I was like, oh, I done fucked up. And I was thinking I was late. So now I'm like rushing to the church to the shoot and. I really don't fuck with daylight savings sometimes. But the craziest thing is, is this is gonna be the last daylight savings. Like I'm pretty they actually sh- voted on it. I'm this pretty one? sure like this is the last one. Wait, how does that work? Fuck, they said that last time. Wait. I, it could be fake it's news. It's a choice. I don't know. Um, <laughs> basically, you know what daylight savings is, right? Yeah. Like going forward, springing forward, Spring falling forward, back, and fall shit like back. that. Uh, they voted, or they're trying to vote on basically passing something that says we are just gonna be on this time. Yeah, forever like, like you know we don't, we don't ever have to spring back or do or that's how it is in it. arizona right now so that's I, how it is in arizona and hawaii so it's trippy yeah. because you'll go to hawaii my girl's out there right now it was a three-hour difference and now it's a two-hour difference because they didn't do it so it's like one uh, thing i never understood the purpose of it i know what it does i don't get it either what is it what is the point of I, that i think it i think it started from like back when agriculture and growing crops was a huge and thing like lighting uh, and technology and just kind of adjusting towards the sun yeah during seasons i think but now it's like come on we got man. technology now. yeah like come on man fuck that honestly Ooh. never, never mind, mind. <laughs> <laughs> because now it's now it's just an indicator of seasonal depression <laughs> is it though yeah because it gets fucking dark at four o'clock i mean yeah, yeah. but i'm not gonna lie i kind of fucked with like... i, I kind of fuck with the fall back only because i'm just like <laughs> especially during school i'm like i'm about to get there <laughs> Love all I do is fall back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's that always how i remembered it but i'm just like i always got that extra hour of sleep you know so wait so i've d- never seen that affect me though so like, did we lose an hour or physically? gain an hour we gained an we hour. gained one like so it gets darker later now earlier no, earlier you ain't seen Ooh. it's like you gained an hour of s- sleep but yeah bro, the like sun was gets... setting at like 4 p.m today. i know i was yeah. like it's bro it's felt like it feels like it's midnight right now yeah you're a vamp so you wouldn't know yeah he's up late he's a real vamp. <laughs> <laughs> but i just thought it was pretty interesting that this is going to be the last one i think hopefully because hopefully. it doesn't bring any good to my life just fuck shit up for me. It's like, damn, I gotta adjust to this now too. You know? Yeah, I don't think Dr- I don't think Drake a- acknowledges daylight savings. No, he said he's a true vamp. He works from nine to nine. He did mm. say that. But how does that work? So Arizona doesn't follow it. Hawaii doesn't follow it. It's like it's kind of weird, right? Yeah, that that shit is fucking me up. It's like some interstellar type shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it freaked me out. <laughs> what? Dude, it it freaked me out. You just see him over. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it freaked me out because I was in Hawaii when it was spring and I always thought it was a two hour difference and then I look, it's a three hour difference and then I'm like, what the fuck? So that's how I know this random fun fact that Hawaii and these certain fucking states don't follow that shit. Mm. It's like, how the fuck is this even a, real, bro? Yeah, that like, was a very subtle flex. Yeah. Like I was in Hawaii, so I just know this little fun fact. And also, if um if you're in Turks around this <laughs> time of the year, if you're in Turks around this time of the year, like <laughs> it's sunny all around. Yeah. We should just get rid of all of that in general. Just have one world time. Because let's talk yeah. about it. What that's is a time? fact? Wait, no, that's that's not. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That'd be a little weird. Because midnight, it's seven o'clock for, for everybody. everybody. But it's like, but it's, it's bright the, over there yeah. in, in Italy. But like night time here. I it's mean, kind of a crazy concept to think about, though. Like, like how time does change. Australia, kinda, like, it's they're having they're lunch like right now. Ten hours yeah. ahead or whatever the fuck. What it is. what country is that? We should Where? pitch this to Adam. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what's what's that country that it's like? Uh, it's like nighttime for like a month or something. I think Alaska. it's Alaska, Antarctica, probably. No, yeah. there's like an actual like rural city that goes through that. Or Alaska, it's either, like it's, Ireland, it's either, or like, yeah, or Iceland, Iceland or Greenland. Greenland's the one that's icy. That's so icy, and, and and Iceland's the one that's it's all green. green. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. always remembered. So it might be Greenland. It's because I mean, it's like close to the north. Yeah, you, like anywhere up toward like Antarctica. It's like. Could you guys ever live in Alaska? Nah, I'm cool. I got it. I'll check it out. I think um, I think LA's a vibe. 
<laughs> I think LA is more vibey. I don't think they have a Melrose out there. <laughs> what if we just carried the Out of Focus podcast and we were just living in Alaska? We're in an igloo potty. <laughs> Um, I'll be on the Zoom on the TV. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be nuts to just wake up and it still be dark out or having to deal with that. Would be no, foods. but I feel like that would definitely have like a depressing. Or what if you're there for six months and it's always mood. light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, it, it has both, it, right? Yeah. yeah. Six months light, six months dark. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like Alaska is one of the like the highest buying like um, states of blackout curtains. I'm I sure. Think. Yeah. Yeah, and fucking sense. pistols so they could fucking smoke themselves. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice, nice. I like that. Wow. Have you guys ever been hunting? No. Alaska just reminds me of hunting. Like, imagine how American you feel. Just pop off a fucking reindeer. Or pop something. off a <laughs> pop off a goddamn foreigner, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I realized that white. I realized I was just like, damn, they're gonna come for me for being white after I bring that one yeah, up. I, I, yeah. I, I hype up. Uh, Have you been hunting? hunting? You I never been hum- I never been hunting. I just yeah, only I played know, that like, game. The game's pretty lit. I don't know. That's hard. Hunting I feel simulator? bad for the animals. I would feel shit. bad. I'm just too. like, if I'm not about to eat it, like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. You I'm definitely have really to eat it. It's it's a thing where it's like, you hunt him down, and there's ethics with hunting too, right? Like, you gotta earn your kill. You can't just like, yeah, you know, th- trap him or whatever. Like, you gotta, you gotta have a good shot, right? So that says something about you. I feel like you head can, aim. You can, go, right. you can go hunting on K Street. It's just a different type of hunting. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure you eat that kill. <laughs> but, but I just think I just know I've seen some some people that go on these trips and they'll just hunt these elk, these big ass deer. But they'll do it with like crossbow arrows and like mm-hmm. not even guns. And I'm just like, okay, that seems like a sport, you know? Because hunting is a sport. Yeah, is it? Yeah. At the end of the day, and no key. it's kind of a thing where it's like, all right, you know what you're killing, and you know what you're eating, rather than some McDonald's processed shit or, or like, you know. Yeah. But I don't really believe in that argument. I'm just bringing that. Wait, up isn't for the a sake crossbow? Isn't a crossbow like a slower death though than a gunshot? No, like, not yeah, multiple. Definitely. It depends if you hit it. If you really hit it in the head, like. Now you, you know probably got it. Probably got to hit a couple. <laughs> yeah. Or how close you are. It's definitely dying slower. It. I yeah. can just hear, like, the sound of a feral hog just <laughs> <laughs> from a crossbow. A feral uh, hog? No, crossbows are pretty fucking strong, though. Yeah, and but... I feel like, you ha- you're, like you're not shooting a crossbow as far as you're shooting a gun is the thing, you know? Like, I'd be damned if I I feel I like you're out. shooting a crossbow close enough to where you know you're going to kill it with that shot, you There's know? There's definitely... You have to be closer than a fucking gun. Yeah, like a gun, you damn, you really could damn near, like, you snipe go, some shit. You go hunting, though. Do you need... You want a gun or a crossbow? I want a gun. Definitely I want, want a gun. gun. <laughs> I come across a bear or some shit, and I just got a crossbow. Because that's some shit. That's some walking dead shit. Imagine it takes if, way too long to reload. Imagine if the ops pull up with, a, with just all crossbows. See, that would... That'd be, that'd be scary. What are you doing? That would be scary. Because I feel like niggas would... Would definitely be feeling different if and, it was like, and they got the ones with the ropes attached to the crossbow, so they could look, they could pull, pull it back, <laughs> <laughs> harpoon you. Oh my god, <laughs> that would be nuts. Or the big ass one from Game of Thrones to kill the dragon. <laughs> drive by, they cross, pull up with that crossbow big drive by. I seen this TikTok, I think, and it was a theory basically saying how the dragons were real. What do you mean? So basically, it was explaining. How historians or whatever the fuck you call them, they believe dragons were real because the argument right now is like, okay, dragons weren't real because why are there no fossils of them? You know, but um, if you look back in some of like ancient illustrations or whatever, they kind of show like these lizard things with wings. So they're basically bringing up the theory that like maybe dragons were real. The only fact that, like, the only reason why there weren't there fossils, there wasn't fossils, was because, uh, they had like bone birds or like uh, birds of like, they, damn, they had the bones of, of birds type shit, mm-hmm. which are way more posturous or something, which like are thinner and they don't fossilize. They disintegrate. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it was just like, damn, bro. I mean, if they off had the fucking head. pterodactyl off type dinosaurs, I'm like, but do we believe there was off. dinosaurs? Like what is real? I don't know. I believe there was, di- there was dinosaurs. I think, yeah, there's too many bones for there yeah, not to have been. Either. I've, but I don't know if they put the bones back together correctly in the museum. And I don't know how extravagant, like, 
they actually were like they as far as looks yeah you, they yeah, could yeah. be making them look like all colorful <laughs> like, or like fucking but, but like but a lot of people been some nasty looking fucking yeah they were just big ass lizards like a lot of people were saying that you know how t-rexes have little arms yeah. they were saying that like um that they didn't have arms and they had wings that they were those, those bones were supposed to go on their backs instead See, we don't know what's real. Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but Out of Focus Podcast, we're here to give you the information you need. <laughs> yeah, this we're here to this spark the conversation. Yeah, yeah spark, spark that up. Spark, <laughs> spark that up. This is becoming hey, like, oh, uh, shit, let's honestly, get back on track, guys. Yeah. Look, we're s- hey, Drake, Kanye. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, but let's, I mean, six. speaking of, you know, sparking things up. Oh, God. Oh, no, man, here we go. Actually, it doesn't even have to deal with any of that, but. How do we feel about our last two pods? Last three pods, you know? The guests. Mm. We got we had the sharp one, the house fun one. We haven't had time to really reflect on those. We we no. touched on it in the beginning. Yeah, we've had no time to reflect on those. I mean, how are you I guys feel, yeah, cause feeling when, about that? When you have a guest here, it's like you can't we you can't, wanna just we, you know yeah. prioritize them. We can't do this yeah, when there's a guest here. It I kinda this, it kinda tur- it kinda turns into like an interview yeah, type situation. But I, I mean it's cool. I feel like it's cool to do every every now and then but i i this is this is our meat and potatoes yeah. you know what i mean even though even though those are like our highest viewed shits it's like yo like nah fuck with us fuck with us yeah, yeah. yeah. i know my dad was uh called me about some of the comments he was like i love the sharp interview you know it's just you know your parents call you about shit that it's like damn why are you even worrying about this you know yeah my dad doesn't call me. Yeah, my dad doesn't. My dad call me. <laughs> call I'm just me. kidding. My dad doesn't call me. But they don't watch my shit, to be honest. You know, oh. S- you know, Smack said "pimp" stands for professional in manipulating people. Hello. Wow. Whoa. He's answering phones on the pod. Whoa. Whoa. What is? Yeah, that? I made it in. Hey, we're keeping. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Yeah, I yeah made we'll it keep in, it all in. Hey, we're keeping this. Wait, by it's the his way. mom. It's his mom. Speaking of parents. Yeah. Speaking uh, of okay. parents. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was gonna give you a call. We started. We started shooting the podcast. Hey, we're gonna keep potting. By the way. Oh yeah, but my yeah, dad. Yeah, I made it. I made it a few. Hours <laughs> Unplug that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds like the beginning. Love. Sounds like the beginning of a too. Drake song. Yeah. yeah. Or the middle. Um, or the, yeah. the middle of a Frank Ocean album. It was my grandpa, and I forgot to call him when I made it in. You know, so I was like, God, damn. I don't want to leave him on fucking. Look what you've done for you know me. I respect uh, that. I respect that. Like, I don't know if he's gonna be up by the time yeah. this is done. Weed makes you tired, lazy. Unconcerned. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of co- phone calls you get from your grandparents. Yeah. Nah, that was just the Frank Ocean interlude of his mom talking. Oh. On a Blonde. I don't know if you heard that album. No. I know you didn't. I honestly didn't listen to that album either. Wow. I've listened to like obviously the big songs off of there, like. But yeah. Wow. Excellent album. You guys should check it out. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my bad. Speaking of, about? keep bouncing on Frank right now. Nah. Oh, yeah. Homer hanging around my neck. Bracelet matches. No, he said rainbow diamonds around the neck. Oh, like like I'm Frank Burr. Was that a, is that a bar? We lost it. We've. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's get back on track. Yeah, right. that's our yeah, second bad, time, man. No, you good? You good? You done fucked up the flow. No, nah, but that was that was like, uh, come on, his grandpa, you know. Yeah, you but should have ignored it. When are, <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, when are we getting the ox that we could plug in and take phone calls? I mean, I could have. We need the road the roadcaster pro. Okay, and that's some money. So maybe we'll invest in that soon. So fans. comment in the no. <laughs> subscribe donate. to our Patreon. Yeah, fans, if you um Just put this video up. on loop while you go to sleep, yeah, <laughs> damn near. Honestly, why there, don't we do that? There was dudes telling their audience to do that, like yes. in the early, like the early times of YouTube. For real? Yeah, I think we're getting banned for that. Justin so. Bieber was doing that for music and Chris Brown. To get to get n- number one, while 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 um Roddy Rich's the box was number one, they're trying to knock him off. It was a free for all. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to get it how however they could. Shout out Scooter Braun, man. Shout out Scoot. <laughs> Wait, but so how do we feel about our past episodes, though? Man, oh, I love I love it. I love it. I'm excited for where Out of Focus is going. You know, I definitely want us to get this distribution deal going. Yeah, really get the Maybe. bag. Sponsors been, tap in. Shout out to the in. shout out to the re repack and the merch, merch pack. pack. Shout out to our guys over there. Facts, facts. Hey, Amen. Yeah, we're really podcasters. I've now. definitely had a couple people ask me like, "Yo, are you guys gonna have a guest again?" Like, I miss when it was just you guys. 
type shit. I miss when it was just us two, low key. Well, we're back now. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I told him. But we got more guests coming soon, too. Thanks. So should we yeah. stick to a schedule in terms of, like, or just kind of Bring fill it out? In. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, when should we do solo ones? When, how often should we be on guests? Just fill them out. Because it is kind of, like, yeah. hearsay. Well, this trying to plan the guests and shit. Well, lately we've been potting. We've been potting, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, no, because, honestly, that brings me up to the to the idea of those ideas I had for other content. That's not out of focus podcast. Should we? T- mm. Can we talk about that? Let's talk about it. Let's manifest it right now. The <clears throat> basically, we play this game in the office where mm. you tell us like you create this scenario, and then you have to. There's like a group of people, and you play a song that fits that scenario the best. So we're thinking of creating a content like a content piece that's kind of focused around that concept, and. You so know? give an example of a scenario. Oh, you know what scenario I'm going to bring up. <laughs> Mom's minivan? One? Yes, sir. Yeah, in the morning. Wait, wait. It's, Which one? It's, uh, you know, we can get very specific. Last, <clears throat> last time we did the um the last song you played before you commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> but it could be like driving to middle school, mom's driving you to school, back right. of the minivan. Homecoming. You know, mm. homecoming night. Just got dappered up. Mm-hmm. You, the car hasn't picked you up yet, but you're just you're, you're fully prepped. Got the okay. cologne on. You're looking in the mirror. Or the getting you, ready song. The getting ready song. So it gets it can get yeah. real specific. It so gets sticky. It definitely can get sticky. I want to bring more content to this channel, and yeah. I feel like we should just do it. That's some shit we got to put on Patreon, though, huh? Unless you want to get mm, flagged, but it doesn't. Know. There's no strikes. The right? thing is, with that content, we're not going to make any money off of it. Yeah, it won't strike your channel though. No, right? it won't strike our channel because I want you guys to <laughs> listen to the music and, or not you guys, but the audience. Well, didn't YouTube change that to where it's like you can get monetized for playing like actual songs now? But they just get. A we piece might be too playing now? some big songs though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what like loophole in this content, or like uh, obstacle we're gonna have to overcome. Like, how can we do that? Without getting a, it muted, but yeah. I don't think I don't think we'll get it muted as long as we just can't monetize it. But hopefully, I, I read some shit about that too, where it's like, <clears throat> hopefully we could like uh, start monetizing. They're gonna break us off a piece or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, come on, I like that. Let's bring the content. Let's really just go in. I feel like we've we've bonded a lot because I was looking back. I'm like, we've been doing this for four months already now. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's kinda seventeen flies, seventeen yeah. episodes in. Hey, we're kind of up there now. 17. I remember it was like, yeah, episode four. You know what I mean? I, I watched about- back some of them too, and it's it's dope to see like the set progress and just yeah. You know, honestly, yeah. L- looking at the first few, like that, that shit looked nasty. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, <laughs> like, it, but it's like at the time that was all we knew, so it was like this shit's fire, you know? Because we just have something, you know. But like seeing how it looks now, it's like this shit's kind of crispy. The first one was nasty. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think the most important thing about the first one is that we did it. No, for you sure. Know what I mean, and that it ex- we in it exists. Yeah, that's like half this content creation game. Yeah, that's, that's half life. a life. That's bro. half a life. Just doing just it. You just gotta start. Doing, yeah, you gotta try. Man, we riding on each other right now. Yeah, we bouncing hey. on our shit. <laughs> bounce on my shit somewhere. Oh, nah. Nah. Yeah, nah. 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 Go back to your reunion. <laughs> yeah. Get your shit bounced on. Maybe over I will. At the Hop Garden. Oh, wait, so no one dressed up for Halloween? Yeah, yeah did. did. And I fucked around and caught a cold. <laughs> <laughs> you caught COVID. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was AD's party? It was cool. It was eighties party, right? Regular. Uh, yeah. It was a big chief big event. Chief. Yeah. Cool. Excuse me. It was a big chief event. I remember. Yeah. Don't, we, don't get it twisted, bro. You want to talk about it? I mean, it's just typical no. LA underground shit. Oh, uh, he's used uh, to that. O- yeah, I am used to yeah, that. Um, uh, OT in a Wolverine outfit. Yeah, he yeah. definitely probably won best best costume <laughs> yeah. there. He had the claws coming out, Literally. so like while crib walking. <laughs> And it was excellent and smack there he brings too. great energy yeah so does smack <laughs> so does smack I love smack like <laughs> I fuck with smack we, should, we gotta get him on the pod he would be excellent mm, on the pod. Mm-hmm. after um after sitting in with his um Adam interview yeah with his Adam interview like yeah cause he was actually able to get serious on that one like usually he's fully like turns up type shit but yeah definitely got into some topics oh, yeah. well, that brings us to a topic of you know, 
like you working at No Jumper, sitting in on this interviews. How does it? Do you notice the difference? And R.I.P. Aaron Carter. Yeah, that's that crazy. Was he was, nuts. Yo, he was that, just in the office. Yeah. Just in the office. With his service dog, showing us his yeah. service dog. Oh, man, the vlog's about to drop, and there's like a, it starts with him, so I'm just like, damn. Like, maybe we should go back and say something about it or whatever. But Oh, just, it was already edited that way? Well, it's just edited already. Like, like, it was already done. It's done. No, but it was done with him in the front like that already? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, so it was just a hear that news man that shit was crazy yeah man. that shit blew up. especially based like, on the fact that we just seen it like he literally yeah, like, came yeah, in the editor's bay and was like kicking it with us yeah. like rolled up a fucking cone and literally like, hanging out introduced he was a he was a dope yeah he was just always real friendly man no facts real that was good, my first time meeting real him. good like, energy damn. hung out his dog was dope as fuck yeah, yeah. but man yeah r.i.p aaron carter bro yeah bro, bro. That's but insane. working at no jumper uh belt you, you fuck with it or you want to quit? No, I fuck with it. Is, wait, does, has that happened before to you? Like what? at No Jumper, um, the, something like the Aaron Carter situation, where someone recently came in, you know what I mean, and then tragically, you know what I mean. King Von, word. Oh King, yeah, that it, yeah. King Von was my first office vlog, and he was the title, and it was like one of the very first ones I shot there, and a couple months later he passed away. Damn. It wasn't as recent as this Aaron Carter one, yeah, but that was like one of last, the ones. This is like yeah, last this week, right? Literally like weeks. I think one week. That was last yeah, week, it right? Was, that was literally last week. It was yeah. It was close. But yeah, the King Vaughn one kinda of fucked me up too, where I'm just like, damn bro, like I filmed like I, yeah. I kinda met you, I interacted with you. Even like Sloby dying. Yeah. That I thought Teddy like Ray huge. dying. Like those yeah. were ones that hit way closer to me. Yeah. But it's one of those things where it's like we were talking about with Sharp about just like legacy and what you're leaving behind. It's like this, these videos are forever. Yeah. This links to this podcast is going to be forever. Obviously, you could delete it, but <laughs> like yeah, if, no, but if just one like, of us died, gonna, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like unless you delete it, if one of us died or, you know, whenever we pass, this is going to be here forever. Yeah. Like, as long as the Internet and YouTube exists. That's, right. I, that's why I think it's just it's really crazy to think how the future is going to be when we start having kids like in the next 10 15 years and seeing that generation who is going to be able to click those links and go back and really have like full details of what their parents were like before them yeah Yeah. and i feel like we've never really we've never had to grasp that or we've never were able to like really get a good understanding of how our parents were yeah like we weren't ever able to see it i feel like i'd always ask my mom like yo so like anytime some shit would happen to me like growing up it's like what were you like when you know what i mean it's like and you can ask them and they can try and paint a picture but it's never like now everything is documented by video the best hey, we had was like, like the photo the stack of yeah, pictures photos like, yeah. and v- v- vhs maybe if yeah. you're lucky hey trev just went crazy right now like he just went in right there i like that <laughs> it's just cra- it's wild it's crazy to, think. to think about yeah yeah not like i think i think it might be it might build a better bond though for sure you know but Damn, also, i feel like that adds so much pressure now it's just like yeah, my kids <laughs> my kids gonna be like, my kids <laughs> are acting be hella this? different yeah, from all the yo, pods moving forward yo, nah but not like yeah but, nah drugs uh, nah i never did that wrong nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah but like i feel like it's just a little pressure but it's something that'll like you know it definitely goes away once we whenever we do the shit because i'm not really think, thinking about shit in the back of my head like that but yeah. it's definitely definitely food for thought like damn like you know People, I people up. I know and love will be like, will be able to look back on these and and see all, all of these. You know what I mean? Yeah. And get a really good gauge for who I am as a person. Because it's like I would never talk to my parents like this. Right. You know what I mean? I would never talk to my aunts and uncles mm. like this. You feel me? So for I feel real. like, I mean, I never sent them the pod. Kind of like, I feel like I don't want them to judge me as of right now. But if they ever like come upon it, like I feel like they would really get to know who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now that I think about it, it's like, damn, like, do my parents really even know me? Mm. Does that make sense? Because yeah. I don't know about you guys, but you guys probably talk to your parents in a more like um with a different tone. Like they're kind of, they're kind of become a little bit more of your friends. Yeah. Right. Possibly. But I feel like with mine it it has always stayed the kind of like they're my parents tip there's I don't a know. boundary yeah, I, boundary yeah. I feel like there's I don't always know. gonna be the boundary I don't right? know if it, if it's like an Asian thing you know I think and it's I think it's definitely like that kid parent dynamic like obviously you're not gonna tell your dad about fucking getting a DUI or you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. like, 
uh, you know, me getting tased. Like, I did tell them, but they didn't. Actually, I probably told them all. Like, but it just depends. I definitely think my dad has gotten a better understanding of me watching these two. That's so hard that he watches it. Yeah, yeah he watches it. That's so hard. <laughs> it's it's dope. It's definitely something I've had to get used to. But yeah, at the yeah. end of the day, I realized, like, okay, it's my parent. You yeah. know? It's like. And I'm a grown ass man. What are you gonna tell me? No. <laughs> Once you realize that as a kid, then you're fucking yeah. l- like limitless. White, hey, white kids find that out early too. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> they get that. They that. get <laughs> that idea pops in their head as soon as they turn 13. Bro, like, but I never got that. That's why I'm slamming Xbox doors. <laughs> exactly. Like I feel like I never really pressed my parents like that. Like I was a good ass kid. Yeah. I never even got a detention. Like I was just by the book. Mm. But I feel like I should have just caused a little bit more havoc, like applied <laughs> way more pressure. Just like, nah, yeah, like. Hey, but ha- have you ever been over like to your friend's house, like at that age, where like, where they were kind of to you, they were talking crazy to their parents. There was things that my friends would say to their parents that I for sure wouldn't say <laughs> to my mom. So I would make a face. I'd be like, I'll be like, whoa. Like in my, I'm like, oh, this is it. Like yeah, this, this is it. The end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, was like, like, I was like, this is the end of our kicking session. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, like you're about to, oh, you're about I'm to get punished. About to have to call my mom right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to go home. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get picked up. But then, <laughs> but it would just rock. Yeah, and then like, it's like, yo, the night is still it, going. I'm still kicking with my <laughs> homie. But like, he really they just, just had a different that. dynamic with their parent. Then were they white? Yeah, no one. One was white. One was white, and then I had a friend that was like, he had a black mom, but it's like, she was. She was like a crazy, like real ass mom, but he could like <laughs> a I feel crazy, like, like real ass, like a real ass black mom, you know? Like she was really like a real ass black mom, but I feel like she understood like how we're talking and like that her son was, you know what I mean? Like he's a nigga at the end of the day, so she kind of like let him be that, but still like yo, like as long as you're on your shit. So it was like he would say shit that like we would kind of say in front of our friends, but like. Like in front of wait, his wait. mom, and I'm just like, oh, like my parents had me in check. <laughs> nah, yeah. yeah, no, but, that's I was like, bro, I'll, I'll get my ass beat. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, definitely keep my mouth shut. But that's the thing, like, but the um, the kids that I have seen like talk to their parents like that, like they always had good ass grades, like they they were they were on their shit. You feel me? So it's like. I feel like they had that one up against your parents. I don't know, because I always had bad grades, and it just always felt like I was in trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, like always. Just that feeling in your stomach, like, fuck, man. Yeah, they got that over you. Yeah. I think when when you grow up, you realize, like, okay, it's... It's not what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. And some some of them fucking kids can be mad disrespectful. But, I mean, I think you're always going to have some disagreements with your parents or whatever, right? Yeah, but how many did you let rock because you were just scared to be like, to like really voice your opinion? Yes, I let a lot of them rock. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I thought it was raps for me. Like, See, if I, I didn't like, let it rock, I feel like once I got to like, I probably say like junior year of high school is when I'd start to like start to dodge. fight back. Well, you well, start yeah, to fight back. Like, no, you start you to s- find your voice. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like okay, like I'm starting to experience life too. Like. I'm, I understand some of this shit, mom. Yeah, it's like you're you're <laughs> able to try and get them to empathize more instead of just be like, no, I'm your parent. I'm older than you. I know it's right. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that was always the parents made. Like, I'm your mom. You know what I mean? Or I'm your dad. Like, so I can tell you what it is to do. But it's like now you start to get older. It's like, I understand that. But I'm also an adult that's experienced shit. And like, this is, you know. Because yeah. I, I had to talk with my mom. It was like, we went to breakfast and um, like my whole thing was just like, oh, cause she found out that I smoked. That's what it was. So this, was a good this, one. this is the first time she found out that I smoked weed. When recently? Nah, this was <laughs> this was uh the summer after freshman year of college. Oh. I hid it in my closet in my room because I had to go. Like I went back to stay with my mom's during the summer, and she found it and she was like hell upset. And you know, I was like, okay, let's go to breakfast and talk about it. And like yeah. she was like hella yeah. distraught, like she was oh, damn near like. Wait, what'd crying. you order? <laughs> Did what'd you have you the munchies? Go? I don't what'd you guys go? remember? Uh, I have. Hey, he's hella uh, lit. He's hella uh, lit. I don't know. <laughs> Mom, I'm. I got the munchies right now. We gotta go to breakfast. <laughs> we gotta go to breakfast and talk about. Uh, it. Uh, I, I go forgot. To Denny. Nah, I forgot what. 
No, it was her idea to go to breakfast. <laughs> yeah, she knew. She was. Yeah, no, no but that's she was just like, a good joke, though. That's. But <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, appreciate? I, the, wait, wait. Kind of. I need a grand slam right about <laughs> now. Grand you slam think, win. Yeah. <laughs> you think we could talk about this over breakfast? She said, "Baby, I know." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah come on. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, we went to breakfast, and like my whole thing was just like, I understand you don't understand this, and like I'm not doing like. I didn't want to break your heart by you finding this out and everything, you know, but it's like, you have to understand, like, you have to trust the job you did of raising me, you know, it's like, you, you have to know that I'm not going to do anything that's really just going to fuck up my life. Like, I'm in college right now, I'm trying to, like, actually better myself, but this is something that I enjoy doing, and I do it for this reason, this reason, this reason, you know what I'm saying? And it's Damn. like, just trying to get her to understand it from my, from my side to at least respect it in a sense, you know, it's like. Cause I feel like in her eyes, her seeing that she's like, oh, like he's he's, he's done for. Yeah, he's, he's off the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just in you the know, streets. But it's like I feel like you start to gain that level of like being able to level with your parent, you know. And yeah. it's like I feel like once they understand that and they see you as that adult, like okay, he he's they're gonna have to start making decisions for themselves, you know. It's like just like understand, like I'm making these decisions with a level head still. Like you did, and, you did your job, you know. And it's also a timey thing too, because I mean, belt. He was getting caught with weed at like oh, 13, yeah, right? True. Like he was getting caught. <laughs> yeah. He was a yeah, freshman trying to have college. that talk you know to yeah, 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 freshman in college is way different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 No, nah, but I, I'm, I'm just picturing in my head like Kelvin's just sitting there with like a Venn diagram. All right, mom, pros. And he's like taking a bite out of his hands. <laughs> I'm <sleeping>. great. <laughs> pros, I'm like. My appetite's grown. <laughs> yeah. I, I put some meat on my bone. I was yeah. curious. I was curious. Like how, how much time did you have to build your defense? Like literally like I woke up in the morning and like. This is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was. Was checking. it a text message? Was it a, a conversation? How the fuck did she find it? You were sleeping. She went in your closet, found the shit. Just like yeah. Yo. So like, I was out the night before with with the homies, Malik, and everything, you know. And it's like name drop. I don't know okay, where she yeah. for mom. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mom, Malik. She, yeah. You were, yeah. I was like, right? <laughs> we were He's literally roommates right? for five years. So I was like, bro, who else would I be smoking with? You know what I mean? <laughs> but fucking. Um, we went out the night before. I don't know when she found it exactly, but I feel like it it had to have been like sometime at that point the night before. We were out the night before. Next morning I woke up, uh, you know, went to just check and see if it was there. Is and it? There, there was just a note there. She was like, come talk to me. A note? Wow. The Wait, did you gone. try to stash it somewhere? Or it yeah. Was, it was like in a, it? It was like in a, like a candle jar. Like I had like a jar that I kept weed in, but it was like Not small, in your like, room? Candle. It was in... Yeah, it was in like behind my closet or like okay. behind my door, like closet. But my closet was open. I was smelled that loud pack. Yeah. She also she either smelled or she was snooping, bro. Yeah, damn. But either way, I mean, God, it, it was a it was a it was a, a good conversation came from. So I guess did she give you your weed back? Nah. <laughs> damn. Yeah. Damn. That's but beach. I bought some more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> showed her. Hey. Damn. Uh, There's a couple times where I probably wouldn't have got caught if it wasn't that loud pack. <laughs> <laughs> See for me I didn't start God like Smoking that. weed Until like Senior year So it was kind of One of those things Where it's like uh, It was kind of cool You know As long as I'm yeah. doing it Not like Yeah you were an adult At that point yeah. You were driving Pretty no, much you were Yeah driving like It was just like point. Okay just be responsible Whatever the fuck Like Yeah see Your parents already respected it but I did have those privileges because I didn't get in trouble and I was going to college and I did get decent grades. Like, I mean, I was, I was responsible. Yeah, no effect. You know? My mom was just hella crazy. Get chased. <laughs> get <in taste. laughs> See, that like, was a grown ass man. Yeah. So what happens? You start yeah. smoking and weed alcohol. and now you're getting. <laughs> that was alcohol. Because yeah. we can talk about that. Like, bro, why is alcohol so weed? normal? <laughs> so normal when and it, it how, really fucks people up way more than weed it's poison man literally so you, what you're an advocate to bring back the prohibition or something no Run get it. faded turn up man. prohibition just positive be responsible <laughs> <They're gonna> party <laughs> responsible <laughs> and know party your limit that's it what do they call those underground bars they had during the prohibition the speakeasy yeah it's like <laughs> a little speakeasy what's up speakeasies are hard have you ever been to one um, they have that flat stick pub what, one what, in sec. what 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 defines a speakeasy like nowadays I mean, I think it's just like a 
hidden thing like you got to know a code to get in or it's like behind a door or it's like some secret yeah. shit I, i've never been to one of those I've, I've always seen them on tiktok though they're kind of tight i would say yeah. <laughs> i would say lick and dip is a speakeasy lick and dip yeah a lick and dip might be it's a, a speakeasy. Under, <laughs> underground rave that's an underground electric speakeasy <laughs> goes, that shit goes to like 8 a.m <laughs> let's go let's go oh. a vlog <laughs> lick and dip lick <laughs> sounds hard to go to <laughs> Hey, but Bossy, you never got caught with weed or anything like that with your parents? Mm. Nah, it's not. I've gotten caught. Like, what did you like, get? What did you mostly get scolded for as a kid? Mm. Or as a adolescent? A juvenile. Scolded. <laughs> Just grades. Grades. Absences. Yeah, but also my my parents like were kind of going through their own shit. So like, I was like kind of raised I was kind of raising myself you had some freedoms. a little bit <clears throat> yeah I definitely had a lot of freedom to do my own shit but like what you're talking like when you when you can kind of push back and have those talks with your parents those I feel like those get you guys closer that's no, how I'm facts. like that's how I'm on like a friendly level with both my parents like I can just say whatever but it comes yeah. with being an adult now you know like yeah. sure. that's why we were talking about those boundaries or like having that like respect for your for your family like it comes to a time where all right we know the gig you know the gig and, yeah. and let's just look at each other as grown people like Thanks. you know and once i finally got like financially i was gonna say once you, once, once i yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. paying like, not yeah. for none of my shit yeah. i'm i can talk how i want i can you can really have a real yeah. man-to-man yeah. conversation yeah. because it's like okay i get it now you get it now mm-hmm. because bro we're both out here <laughs> as sometimes i've thought about that shit i'm like yo how Fuck did my parents do this? Yeah, how did y'all this do this shit? Hard. That was <laughs> while, while, other, like, that was like, while I was here. <laughs> yeah. while, Two kids. While other shit was going on, I've had siblings. I've had all, like, yeah. bro, what That's the fuck? Like, that that blew <clears throat> my mind one time thinking about like your parents are literally like, it's they're living life still too. You know what I mean? Like they're figuring it out just as much as we are mm-hmm. still. You know, and it's still like, figuring. It's it like out, now yeah. I get it. Like back in the day, like when I would miss the bus and. And like my mom or dad would have to take me to school. I get it now. I said so fucks no, up their whole no, routine. No, no, listen, listen. It's your day off, right? It's your day off. You're laying in bed, fucking your kid usually takes the school bus. I could finally sleep in. It's been a long week. You feel me? This little motherfucker <laughs> comes <laughs> in, in. Comes in. Is that what knees? maturing is? Realizing like, damn, <laughs> yeah. I caused my parents a lot of fucking chaos. Just no, like, not not a lot of chaos, but it's like you no, just realize a lot of inconveniencing them. You realize the magnitude of the headaches. Yeah, it didn't seem that big as a kid. You know, it's just like, oh damn, yeah, I fucked. My up mom used that. to get pissed if I was too loud when she was sleeping. Sometimes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I get it yeah, now. It's like, yeah, dog, it's like she what the shit fuck are you on? What are you on right now? Turn you on Xbox. Yeah, like what are you? on right now dog like, no, you're like, waking me up out of my sleep for a game like, right I, now yeah i would really like probably flex up on my child <laughs> yeah. like like yo like you think it's good nigga yeah. i will throw this shit out <laughs> like like and i see why like now that they like as a kid you kind of heard it all the time like yo like i they would tr- they would try to make you understand like i do this for you i yeah. i do everything for like you you're supposed you know what I mean? to <laughs> like you are an I- extension of myself so you are how i'm being represented you feel me yeah so they try, but at, as a kid, it was like, but I'm like, I have thoughts too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But. Hey, parent appreciation pod right yeah, now. Yeah, man. You know? Parent appreciation. Shout out to the rent, man. Shout out to no, the really, parents. man. Shout out to the rent. But I definitely think it's like, okay, once you're financially responsible, then it's like your parents can look at you different. It's just a whole different energy. I yeah. like it, though. Yeah. Like, I love it. Yeah, I feel like I've it. had that breakthrough with my parents, too, where it's like, all right we can have this different grown relationship where it's just not like just taking you know it's yeah. definitely the strong yeah. it's definitely the strongest my relationship has ever been with either of them was when i finally moved out and did my own shit <sighs> bro i seen this tiktok where it's just talking about how like your 30s to 45s are like the worst times of of an adult life <laughs> And that's when you're the least happy because you go through these like real life shit where it's like okay th- the person you love the most they pa- typically pass away during this time you know you have to be financially wait stable. 30 to 45 yeah like of an adult like say like us like that's when like our parents start our 30s passing, oh, you know what I'm saying? like yeah. that generation they have to go through so much shit where it's like okay not only you have to find a career or now my parents have me young 
have me young, God. So I'm I'm gonna be kicking with him for a minute, hopefully. That's <laughs> not, that's besides the point. We I don't wish on any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just saying like on average because it was a it was a study on like what age is the happiest, and they said really the oldest people are the happiest because they've realized that like um like happiness is just it's not a temporary it's, happiness is not like a place it's just like a mindset it's a, yeah it's yeah. a state of mind you know mind. and it's like uh like you would think the people who have the less time to live were would be the most miserable right and then they were breaking it down how like okay this this time slot like 30 to 45 you go through all this bullshit and then they're typically the most unhappy so I just wanted to bring that up I feel like because past then, we're going to be there soon. <laughs> past then, that's when you, you've already went through all them different emotions. Like, after that, it's like, how much more can you do? Because, man. Yeah. Yeah, because you've, you've experienced. You've experienced deaths. Like, you've experienced heartbreak at that point. A full breadth of life. Literally. It's like you just run it back for your second half of the 40s. Run it back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta but yeah. in, because at the '40s, it's like it's like all right, it's time to run it back. But this time, I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's life, like yeah. or retirement age. Yeah, because what I mean, what are the what are the key things to life? What money? Uh, have money, money, it's different. Bitches. And love. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the financial, like yeah, financial no. freedom. That's what I meant by money. Right. Yeah. You know, by by the time you're retired, you've worked, you have money to you, do. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you set it up so you don't have to do shit. Mm-hmm. So it was like, plus you have all this knowledge and experience, and then you you're trying to make every day count because you know you could go any day type shit. Yeah. So it was, it was just eye opening for me where I'm just like, damn, bro. <clears throat> I go through these days where I feel so grown, but I haven't experienced a lot of shit that yeah. really makes a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, I just got to prep myself type shit. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> For all of us, though, like, yeah, you know, yeah. not to get morbid, but. Yeah. Hey, we're cooking. We're potting right now, we're man. This is what happens potting. when it's just us, yeah, the boys. Yeah. The boys. You know I mean? The motherfucking boys. Yeah, man. We touched on a lot of things today. Yeah. We yeah. did. How long have we been going for? Um, this is 48 minutes, right? So, hour four. Mm, hour 30. Yeah, hour 30. Cooking? You guys yeah, want to talk about anything else? Y'all my treacherous little twins. Damn, I know. <laughs> <laughs> little twins. <laughs> I just and now now it's like we all want to call our parents after the pod. Yeah. <laughs> like this one is cr- yeah. Like we yeah. Just, I like this pod. I like it too. Yeah. Out of, <laughs> out of focus. Like comment subscribe. Yeah. But hey, before we wrap up though, friendsgiving. Let's talk about friendsgiving and Thanksgiving. Hey, do we have to wrap up? No, we don't have to. It's up to y'all. We definitely. Hey, don't. I was watching Mr. Beast by the way on Andrew Schultz, and he says if you start to say words that kind of would close like, the video people are more likely to start clicking off so if you like all right before we wrap up i noticed you do that a lot yeah i do because i, I like, like setting the tone is like all right we finna wrap but it's up. like <laughs> like, it's like yeah. a, it's i'm like, letting y'all know more yeah, it's, than a, it's a room check for everyone i feel like but, but yeah we'll um, edit that out yeah we'll take, yeah, we'll take that out <laughs> we were just kidding friends gi- <laughs> stay <laughs> friends giving thanksgiving i think you know i'm let's have one we got one in a uh, sack coming Pull up. for family and friends giving yeah we had one last year weren't you there yeah. nah he didn't come he at a uh, corner show he didn't come wasn't fucking with it <laughs> <laughs> fuck with he it was definitely year. in town fun. too yeah, nick we, was uh, there uh, too yeah, nick, yeah, nick was <laughs> he looks at his phone wasn't fucking with it slides it back yeah. in his pocket <laughs> i'm trying to are you to sure Turks. i didn't pull up i'm almost certain i would have seen you yeah because i was i was hired by yeah. that mm. yeah yeah no <laughs> no, nah, Friendsgiving. Yeah. I was just curious. What do you guys eat for Thanksgiving? I'm Japan. Gen- the generic yeah, shit. Yeah, well, I mean, soul food they be having though. Asian shit at my. Well, at, that's my why we all come from yeah, different. Yeah, that that, we come from different backgrounds. Yeah, like th- there's some. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. We be having just random Vietnamese. You got food. rice? Is that fucked up to ask? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is it fucked up to yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. That made it even crazier. Yeah. That was the double down. And so, what's the answer? <laughs> I mean, I, I think even asking if rice is there is even... Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know rice is there. <laughs> We're Asian. It's like, hey, Kelvin, uh... You got... That's like... 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 Mac and, and cheese. Yo, y'all got... Chicken? Uh, ch- chitlins? <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all happen to have chitlins on Thanksgiving? A part of podcasting is asking questions you already know the answer to. <laughs> so I was just speaking for the audience members uh, who you, didn't know. You know there was some type of rice 
<laughs> you, like you there's know, at least this. one rice there's, dish. Is, one, there, is there rice at yours? Mm, no. Exactly. Cut it out. No, we have mac and cheese. Do you guys have the same rice? Probably. probably yeah, probably. Steam rice and fried oh, yes, rice. Yeah, it's either one or the other. <laughs> Man, that sounds fire for Thanksgiving. I'm not going but it's just in a tray. Well, like if you want shit. it, if we, you want it, you could grab it. But there's obviously uh, other that's shit. Yeah. like every every day type of thing. Like that's you go wake up, make rice. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking I'll, it yeah, higher. Like you. He's taking the pot to the next level. Let's go. I'm yeah, just trying to understand yeah, the yeah. culture Come on, right let's now. Bring the rice. <laughs> yeah, but it's one of those things I thought in like an Asian household where rice is there every day, right? Rice I'm not gonna first lie. Of all, first of all, you're like, oh yeah, of course we have rice on Thanksgiving. And then I say, oh, it's there every day, and then it's a fucking. <laughs> There's always rice made, that's for sure. There's yet, yeah, like, damn. As a we kid, used to as eat, a, we used to eat rice and soy sauce. I don't know. Like, what's crazy? Because I never, I love yeah. rice. I never yeah. grew up with that shit. I wish there was always a rice shit. cooker on the counter, and if and you it looked in it, warm. it always hit warm, and there was always rice in it. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I was trying to get to the bottom of. Yeah, man. So yeah, me and Kelvin did not grow up with rice. See, cooker. I feel like I started experiencing that in college when my homie Kelly moved in with us. I was like, you had an Asian bitch fucking with you. Uh, no, she was making rice every <laughs> morning, man. <laughs> the homie Kelly, uh, he's Vietnamese, and he moved in freshman year, and he had the twenty-five pound bag of rice. So I was like, Oh yeah, those, the those jasmine rice. <laughs> yeah, the jasmine rice. Oh, so it was man. like he had the rice cooking. That was my first. I was like, Damn, it really is just rice. It's Wait. fire though. It's like you could really fill out any meal. Trev, what's at your Thanksgiving? Turkey. No, Stuffing? we actually don't even do things. Uh, we don't do uh, turkey for Thanksgiving. We do uh, prime rib and crab. Damn, wow. that sounds. I, like that. I know that shit's hella bomb, but uh, can we run with the joke that seasonings aren't allowed? At this thing? <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a lot of seasonings. Yeah, nah, but, nah, you know, I'm already known. That's just probably. Pfft. But it's really kind of, kind of basic. After that, you know, typical salad, maybe you know a couple hors d'oeuvres and shit. But Mac mostly, cheese, possibly, maybe, yeah, you know, stuffing. Now that the family is bigger, stuffing. Now that the family is bigger. <laughs> You know, I have more of an extended family, so everyone can bring more options. So there are definitely Ooh. are more options. But like growing up, the core it was like, either we go to a family's house and then we'll do like the t- typical stuffing, turkey, gravy, you know, all that shit. And that was kind of unseasoned. But if we keep it at the house, <laughs> like mellow, you know, like yeah. there are those Thanksgivings where it's like, all right, we're yeah, just gonna intimate, keep it in family yeah, yeah, right now ones, yeah, and yeah. really bust down indirect, like, indirect family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where it's like, damn. I don't know if I could invite you to my table just because it's gonna, it, it, it costs a lot or you know. Wait, it, can I get? Can I pull up and get a plate though? You mm-hmm. can, but you just gotta. You, it's like you gotta be on the list before, it, and they're limited. You know, like it's okay. one of those Thanksgivings. Yeah, but you actually, got, we're not even doing that f- anymore because you know we're all grown. So this is my first Thanksgiving where we're not doing that. Right? Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But that was Co- my a coincidence. Tradition. I think not. <laughs> as soon as I asked for a plate, hey, we're actually, never mind. <laughs> hey, never mind. We're not this doing that. Actually, you like how I that one out? Here we're not <laughs> yeah. doing that. So, uh, hey, we're not celebrating this year. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll I'll bring the rice, man. Yeah. <laughs> Is y'all shit potluck style or ma- uh, the main cooks of the family cooking? Main, it, right? It's main, yeah, well, it's mainly me, like main mainly like my grandma, mom, whoever's hosting it, uh, and then like. My sister makes some. You gotta I'm ask people. Some. You gotta ask. You guys want any more? No, I'm good. Uh, I feel. I feel like you gotta ask the people that you know that they're good at making this. Like, yo, for Thanksgiving, can you pull up? That's and- why it was always kind of disrespect if you got plates and napkins. If you had to bring plates and napkins to the potluck, you know you have no oh, bars. Yeah. That you have no like, grips. <laughs> no grips. You, no no you have no faith. They got no yeah. faith. And sodas. I would always try to sign myself up for the napkins, though. Napkins. It's low pressure. Just it's easy. It's consistent. Low risk. Yeah, I ain't gotta worry about nothing. nobody talking shit about my. It shit. was just like yeah. It's like honestly, like my grandma already had it dialed in. Like like yeah, they're really. Listen, it's like how are you about to beat grandma and and but okay, and the mom right now. Let me ask you this though: Do you feel like us as a generation are losing that ability to like carry on traditions? Loki, like Especially thinking about it now. I'm yeah. damn near. We just don't like, know how to cook for shit. I'm just I know like, how to cook though. A little bit, but could you recreate your Thanksgiving? I'm, I'm, no, that's hell what no. I'm thinking about. I'm like, if hell I have no. a family right now, like, they're not gonna be able to experience my Thanksgiving if my grandma and them are gone. Because I'm like, I don't know how to throw down. Is it fucked up? She was making pies and yams and cornbread, not, like literally. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I feel like I'm not gonna fucking. I can make some shit. Like I can cook, but like, I'm not gonna lie. My yeah. my family be catering now though. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, they got just, yeah. so I was like, <laughs> they leveled up. I was like, is it fucked up to be like, okay, maybe you just prepare Thanksgiving as like another thing you have to budget for? Where it's like, all right, well, I'm not gonna cook, but I'm about to get about this. To get, yeah, yeah, thousand dollars worth. Of food. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like that's all Thanksgiving is at the end of the day. It's like a crazy with, bust. It's down. Just break yeah, bread. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's more like about it's, the. It's kind of less stress too when you buy it. No, nah, fast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, we get to kick back, wait till the food comes. Yeah, when the food comes, the watch the game. Watch the game. Because that's what we've been doing for a while. We just have everybody just disperse and grab. All right, you're gonna grab this at Winco. You're gonna grab this over there. I feel that it's easier. Yeah, that I'm way. excited. What are you guys I'm eating? excited for Thanksgiving though. What are <laughs> yeah, you guys eating? Bro, Thanksgiving rice. is my favorite holiday. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> rice, Obviously, just, hey, just rice. We've, we've made that clear. Nah, there's just a big ass bowl of rice, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then when they ring the gong, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> a rice off. <song>. Everybody <laughs> sprints to the rice bowl. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what's that. My mine is the same uh, shit. Like seafood. I'm about to bring rice for our friendsgiving. I hope you guys are ready. That'd be, that'd be hard. Mm. I fuck with that. But yeah, but I feel like not every year we've had a turkey. Sometimes we've had ham. I yeah, prefer we, turkey though. I like ham. Though. We, I like a I feel like like turkey leg. Done, Yo, as, we did chicken instead of turkey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's typical. Hey, no, like, turkey was just too dry. Like we was not like, supposed to say anything. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, bro. <laughs> I knew you did chicken, bro. Nah. I, just got, I don't wow. know. Turkey sometimes, though, it got to be seasoned, right? Yeah. That shit is just bland. Yeah. That shit is so dry, dry too. It's it can be so dry, dry, bro. Bro. You could like, fuck up turkey easily. Nah, but, hey, but the gravy will save it sometimes. It, or the, yeah. bro, as yeah. I got older. You think we're making gravy in my household? Uh, not making it, but... You guys could definitely buy it, heat it up. It's not that hard. Some like of that's the same. I know. I know it's not the same. Yeah, it comes with the canned gravy. I know it's not the same, but it's like, but no. That's I why, mean, that's why I kind of feel like my parents were smart about it. Where it's like, okay, we're not gonna step out of our lane. Well, we're shit. gonna stick to what we know. My yeah. dad knows how to grill. You know, no and and crab. You can't go wrong with fucking see, crab. Not, see, maybe yeah. that's how my Thanksgiving is going to end up turning into then. You know, it's like I might not be able to recreate. Kind of staying like, in your lane. Yeah, yeah, like my grandma's Thanksgiving. Hella right. But like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see. <laughs> and the gong, though. <laughs> 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 it turns everybody has a like bowl, this. yeah, Yo. and we're all in Squid Games outfits, Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Running like Naruto. <laughs> hey, I'm excited for our friendsgiving, man. Wait, what well, is our friendsgiving? Yeah, we didn't wait. That's no, at the he's, office. He's or? pulling up to. Yeah, well, don't, we don't even bring food to that one. What's it, the Fred F one? Yeah. yeah. It's How just a young shit's vibes. We just get drunk. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, it's, 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 no, like, it's, 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 it's the thing like you a, go to like after your friend's giving. It's like a yeah. pop-up. Yeah, it's more of a pop-up vibe. Just no, no, no. I want to have all the homies bring food and we all eat. I like, think, oh, I think oh, that's I for think like we're doing that in the office. That's like the bonfire after hours type vibe. We're going to set it up. for F and F. I'm down. We're going to set it up, you know? Real like sit down, everyone bring something, even if it's bought. That'd be hard. So that's four. Some chicken nuggets. That's five. <laughs> Good buy some shit. Yeah, come on. We are from. extended families and shit, you know. Or oh wait, just us? No, I think we need no, more. No, we no, like no, I think no, no, sounds no. like a Friendsgiving has to have ten or more people. <laughs> <laughs> four items. This is our Friendsgiving. <laughs> he I brings mean, rice. He brings rice. <laughs> I bring chicken. And <laughs> 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 What does he bring? <laughs> I don't I know. I bring the fucking plates. <laughs> pumpkin and the pie. Napkins. Yeah. Napkins. Uh, napkins and plates. It's just rice, rice and chicken. chicken. <laughs> rice and chicken. <laughs> hey. It's, oh, it's the thought God. that counts. Yeah, that's true. It's the fucking thought that counts, man. No, but I'm, 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 <laughs> with, the, I'm with the friends giving. <laughs> we kept and said, no, we don't need to have turkey. We just have chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Like a bucket or a couple? <laughs> nah, no, yeah, you do the whole chicken bucket. <laughs> KFC. Did, somebody did bring. That's white yeah, people chicken. You bring uh, KFC Popeyes. Be down. Popeyes. You bring a Popeyes. Somebody brings a bucket of Popeyes with the biscuits. Yeah. And then the you biscuits. bake. And somebody bakes the whole chicken. Like we do, like a whole chicken instead of like a, a turkey. Because like they do. Chicken. Sometimes they do like specials where you can get like a full on right, Thanksgiving like, meal, yeah, right? Yeah, fried chicken. Yeah, you can't yeah, go wrong with Popeye. Popeye's. Damn, that's oh, yeah. maybe we should do that for our Friendsgiving. That's gonna be our generation. We're just gonna do Popeye's. Oh, what about an In and Out Thanksgiving? I'm oh good. My God. <laughs> <laughs> what if that hey, was like the Friendsgiving? So Everybody bring like, oh, I brought 
Burgers 20. and fries. Cheeseburgers. I brought a bucket of chicken. I brought. <laughs> hey, what you say? Bucket I brought of wing chicken? stuff. <laughs> I brought a bucket of chicken. I started shucking and jiving. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Fast food Thanksgiving. Oh, man. Come on, we get crazy. Do that. A, fast, a fast, fast food pop. Pilot? Because look, that's what. Listen, we are the generation of Uber Eats. That's a fact, bro. What? Are, yeah, I buy Uber Eats every Ooh, day. If we did like, yeah, if we Uber what? Eats to. It's like a I'm. Dinner? I'm. That'd be catered. I need to learn drink. how to cook. I need to learn how to cook. Yeah. I don't know how to cook for shit. I know how to grill a little bit. I can follow directions though. I feel like as I get older and I get more patience, I'll be able to do it. But right now, Uber Eats, <laughs> Uber Eats, Eats is, is just so out. convenient. Yeah, it's right but here. But it blows the bag. Yeah, yeah. it blows. It, fu- it just destroys take, the bag. I just take it out. <laughs> it beats the bag <laughs> up. It, 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 <laughs> bro, haymakers to the bag. <laughs> <laughs> like Mike Tyson haymakers sometimes. <laughs> Thirty but ball, it forty flips ball. It and tumbles but, it. But it tastes so good. Bro, and it's, it's so really convenient. Good. Yeah. It's time, but it's just like, damn, oh my god, is this gonna give me more time to oh fucking, my god. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking play a video game or scroll on TikTok or something, you know? Gives like, me more time to work so I can pay for this Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, that's, that's how we pitch it to it ourselves, damn. but we know we're not working no, when the, like, That's how we justify because sure. when my Uber Eats is on the way, I'm I'm checking it. <laughs> feet up. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, feet up. Yeah. How's the time you're checking it? Yeah. Got, got my drink. Uh, got my drink in my paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> he has the napkin tucked. <laughs> <laughs> the fork and knife. <laughs> Just waiting for the driver <laughs> to hit him. Yo, um, think can, about it. Can right. I can I take a piss real quick? Yeah. Are we gonna we gonna keep going? Oh, I'm down to keep going. You guys down? As long as you got more topics, man. How long have we been I mean, going? We've for? been kind of vibe. We haven't had a topic yeah, since vibing. that first break. So y'all think Forty degrees I got a topic See that's oh. the <laughs> <laughs> Hey Whatever the fuck you're saying I got, a, I got a topic <laughs> Nah because It just brought me to this topic Because I'm like You're talking about cold weather What you got on your shoes right now Oh shit Oh we didn't get to talk about the. Oh yeah. you're not even You're not even yeah, gang Not a shoe gym yeah, for real Yeah you definitely did Hey but Let's talk about these fucking shoe jimmies right now Because <laughs> these I'll let you You explain yourself I'll let you tell it I mean yeah I mean <laughs> Yeah Like don't they look fly <laughs> Like yeah. you, It just crazily Was 90 and turned 50 for you And then you had what to you order mean? these Or like Nah it had nothing to do with that We We just thought they looked cool Oh yeah it was Can you explain what the, they are So these are uh, <clears throat> Shoe protectors by Ugg You could literally It's just a rubber Silicone thing And you could just throw it over any shoe And yeah it just looks cool Guys these fools have been putting these shits on their shoes for the past two weeks, two weeks. Yeah. trying to make this shit hot. Yeah. This shit is just, so hot. That shit is not hot, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That not shit is man. not hot. It's ice cold. You got to wear those when it's cold. And I just wanted to shit on them real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Fuck with nice. that. Nice. I wish you were wearing yours because yeah. you, I could have went in a little bit more. Why? Because mine are way harder? Nah. Because well, yours are even no. weaker. Because then you guys really look like two little shoe jimmies in a... He has the pink versions. Two Jimmy's Wait, the, the baby blue yeah. ones? You have baby blue ones? He has baby blue ones on pink shoes. Yeah. yeah. And and Bosses has the uh, gray. There's a gray and then a brown, like a Timberland. So brown. what are, is this? Just, is this strictly a fashion statement, or is this like a also, yeah, and like a we, preservation yeah. thing? I feel like we did talk about this. Didn't in real life, we, when no, I talked, yeah, we to talked you about it. We talked about it in the cubicle. It. Yeah, we were like, hey, save it for the we pod. We talked about this in the cubicle every, every day. day. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, it's purely. Uh, I liked it because the silhouette looks good. It's yeah. not. It's not even for utility or for a purpose. It's just like, it's a new way to rock some of my old shoes because I was getting tired of this shit I was rocking. Yeah, and it makes like the way the pants lay on them now. Since it makes it a bulkier silhouette, you can wear pants that kind of flare out a little bit more at the bottom. You no, know what stop I mean? it. Stop. No, stop it. <laughs> okay. So you're saying you weren't wearing those pants at all before you got these shoe jimmies? No, I was, but now I could now I could do now I could, you know what I mean, do some shit. So shoe know? jimmies gave you the confidence to wear your pants the way they should have been. No, no, no. I was wearing them the, the way they Are you guys going to wear these at Thanksgiving dinner? Yes. <laughs> oh, for yes, sure. Yes, for sure. I'm yeah. damn near not putting I'm putting, I'm putting sure. Sacramento on these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting yeah. Sacramento hey, on these. Hey, watch, these. though. Watch. Watch, watch me work. Yeah, watch, watch <laughs> this work. I mean, rep your shit. This is the you guys have the stage right now. Nah. I'm not sold. Yeah, no, well, I'm not. You convinced. just said because you want to wear your pants. Like, what? <laughs> like, no. I, I, I copped them because they're gonna look good with my pants. 
It's like that's crazy, it's man. Like, and come on, he just doesn't have the palate. You oh, know what I mean? no. it's like you and can't. when it doesn't hug the shoe, like I feel like when it doesn't hug the whole shoe. See, it... I don't do that. I like when it. Hugs so you the whole don't shoe. agree with his shoe jimming right now? Uh, it's a it might questionable. Be a, my, it might be questionable. It's a flag on the play. But... I like it only when I'm standing up because it covers everything else and only the laces show. I love the fat laces on these shoes. So mm, the fat yeah. laces with with the, the, with the shoe jimmy looks kind of hard. Yeah, he challenged that play. Well, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's what I need. Like, I need all the reasoning because I don't understand it. Like, I'm not a fan of it. You I'm know, I'm gonna be real. It's purely a silhouette thing. Yeah. It's a look thing. It's not. A, Bossa, not a Bossa has been rocking them on different shoes. They look the best with the jumbo laces. Mm-hmm. The cooked forces, you were <laughs> swimming in them shits, dog. I cannot get away. I cannot vouch for that one. Those I could kind of see. Like, it's a look. It's a look. I'm gonna give you that. But the meather shits. And don't even get me started on what the fuck you had on. <laughs> I think I think that combination is actually insane. Uh, well, yeah, the we know you're wearing it. Yeah. It is insane. <laughs> no, yeah, it's insanely hard. <laughs> Insane, insanely questionable. Insanely hard for you to understand. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go to Ugg.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the plug. Oh, use the coupon code boss. Oh, hit me at my you? email, man. We could talk about this. Ugg, we I'll need plug y'all in every... <laughs> I'll plug y'all in every episode. I just wanted to get some hater bars. You honestly should spot. just. My bad, guys. Nah, you should just bro. find. Uh, nah, we, know, we heard this every day at work. Find the manufacturer and just recreate them and actually call them shoe jimmies. That's a good point. Fuck as soon as you move into the white man's house, you want to just. <laughs> I'm full of ideas. You want to just. <laughs> Come with the. By the way, the should sister. we. I for sure get that trademark, though, whenever. We should have a. Like a 5% in <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. We should have a. Systematically, uh, like, like <laughs> oppress us. Uh, a housewarming like pod? Housewarming pod in Kelvin's or, room or an event <laughs> just in Kelvin's room, <laughs> just event? in my room. An, an event. Moses, you can make the flyers for this. <laughs> <laughs> for some, Craigslist, right? You were fucking with Craigslist. It's not a room my spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, we need a bond, man. I'm telling you, I've been trying to push this brother movement. This fucking <laughs> yeah, literally this. <laughs> You know, you guys are trying to fucking. We've been trying to too, though. Yeah. Not with them fucking shoe jimmies. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> no. Like, once y'all join the dark side, <laughs> nah, bro. We can't bond over the shoe jimmy. We need something else. Come on, man. Let's 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 create memories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. Yo, likely. <laughs> everlasting <laughs> ones. Because I think it's good for that dynamic and the camaraderie of the pod. You know. Yeah, of course. But also, we but also we just don't have the fucking we see, time, and we see each other every day, damn near. <laughs> and you guys have girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. That so what are you everything. saying? Uh, y'all can't go out as much. As you guys, yeah, you need, guys are on leashes. Guys, yeah, you guys need permission. <laughs> yeah, well, just give us some time in advance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we run this, so we can ask for permission. Like, yo, know, don't you, you know, remember those? Remember, <laughs> the, remember those slips that you had to get signed in elementary, like permission slips? Yeah. Oh, field trip day. Oh Ooh. my god, it was Liddy. I like, go out with the boys, babe. Master forger. Oh wait, no, we're not even talking with girls. We're but then about you, no, but yeah, with the school. Just, you ever had that where you 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 didn't get your shit signed? I forged it Hell every no. time. Yeah, literally. That My parents are no, no, volunteers. No, I've definitely, I've, <laughs> I've definitely missed a field trip because I was too scared to forge it. Because I, as a kid, I was like, "They're gonna know what they're gonna do." <laughs> you think your mom would just like not sign it? Like she wouldn't be fucking with it, or like you're I just, just scared to ask her. I just forgot, and then now I'm, now I'm at school. Like, fuck, this is the last day to turn in those permission slips. Uh, but usually, if you would have took it to your parents, would they would they would have fucked with it? They would yeah. Signed it? Okay. But, but I'm at school already. They already dropped yeah. me off. They're, oh, not, yeah. they're not gonna pull back up just to sign. So this. what what, yeah, what no, was the field trip that you forged? I don't know. Probably like to a zoo or some, some dumb shit. The zoo or when they went to fucking exploratorium. What about the overnight ones though? Yeah, did y'all ever go to Sly Park? No. Oh, I did go to oh. Sly Park. I went, I went to Woodleaf. It went, was basically like Sly Park. But it was like a week long camping trip. Yeah, that shit Ooh. was. Yeah. That yo, shit was a movie. Yo, <laughs> I, <laughs> yo, I forgot. Yo, that shit. Hey, that shit is, how old are we? That, that shit is like nuts. Sixth, fifth sixth or sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yo, that yeah. is nuts to send a fifth or sixth grader away for a week with their fucking school on a camping trip. But I went to this place it called is, Mission Springs. Is. And did you guys have other schools go there at the same time? Somewhat, but we were yeah. never across. But it's like, paths. yeah, it's like we had. It's like, oh, there. You could see him getting off the bus, but it's like he kind of went to your camp. Oh, because I was just like, I was like, bro, Mission Springs for me, it was just like, hella young, horny vibes. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> how old were you? Sixth, seventh grade, like everything. Everyone's, makes sense, you know, 
I was in like fourth or fifth grade. Oh yeah, no, no. On the week long trip, the overnight yes, one. Fifth grade. What? Fifth that was grade. for the big kids. That's what I was like. I feel like it, it, yeah, was, it was like, like it was the for final, sure like fifth or sixth it was grade. Like yeah, I the, think it was. Yeah, all the kids were going there. through puberty, trying to have pillow fights. Yeah. You know fifth or saying? sixth grade. I was a late bloomer. I'm like, bro, I wasn't nah, really, I was but not, I wasn't I was like, not, nobody was. Yeah, I was not looking at girls grade. and thinking I'm about. I'm not saying fucking, people were fucking, but I'm just saying it's like lie. you start looking at like girls or boys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't really looking around at that like, age. You have a crush. Yeah, yeah. You have a crush and then you're at like, summer yeah, camp sure. and you're spending the night. Okay, there was a girl that I was like, oh, like she was cute, but it was. I was never like. I was never like. Oh, I'm trying to smash those at Sly Parker. I'm like, obviously not. I mean, you don't even gonna, know what smashing is. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. They they split up the cabins with boys and girls, and yeah. there was definitely mm-hmm. some gay shit going on with the guys. Gay like, shit. I was like, Damn. but that's because they were horny as fuck. Like, just trying to wait, 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 what? wait, 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 uh, wait, wait. You sound wait, like you got wait, a story wait, wait. to tell. Yeah, nah, oh, yeah. it was just like a bunch of like dry humping each other. Like, you know, just soft gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. Let me explain. Let me explain. I thought you were gonna say. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bunch of bunk beds. It's all guys. I didn't partake in it, but I definitely saw a lot of shit of guys just like, even like uh. It was a dominance thing. Cup, cup <laughs> yeah. I just humped you. Cup checking each other and shit like that. Cup checking That's not different. fucking dry humping. That's, That's, yeah, That's like, it's not crazy. <laughs> You never just went behind the homie real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, never, never, not once. Your uncle's Bruh. never done that to you. He's never done that <laughs> to your uncle. He's trying to be funny now. No, yeah, for sure. No, is. I'm not. Your uncle. You don't play gay with your uncle. <laughs> Bruh, stop. Play stop. gay? Oh, bro, bro, this is a case right now. We're yeah. talking about an open case. How do y'all not? So you have never done no gay, not like I've told crazy gay, shit. I tell gay jokes. I've definitely witnessed some. That's gay about shit. as like, far as your I'm uncle ever. never went like this or like you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, he's, it's he's soft done, gay shit. It's yeah. not. It's not full. But on to like be funny, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I know what you mean. But never, so, so never, that, never the dry hump. Just the standing dry hump from behind. Just one thrust. Yeah, this guy, like, this guy, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That would be. It's a classic. That Don't be, start doing that shit, not bro. Today. That would be for different sure today. catching a face. Yeah. But is that is that like on night one or is it like built up? <laughs> no, that's then, built, right. that's <laughs> built up. That's I've one. been waiting to dry hump <laughs> Billy over <laughs> there. Like no, what? because it's like. You're hella horny, you know. You see all these girls, but then you gotta stay, go back home. So, so like, you have to dry hump your homie one I'm, time. Look, I'm not saying this is normal behavior, but <laughs> if I'm just gonna like, say anything, it's like okay, it hits a little different if it's like the fifth night, and it just was like a little. Bit. It's a little different. It's crazy. <laughs> no, the yeah. first night though yeah, is kind of nuts. Is nuts. <laughs> Counselors just fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> parent volunteers gotta wait. fucking figure out how they're gonna tell the parent, I mean, the teacher. Hey, hey the counselors, caught- the counselors would sleep with you, right? No, they would sleep in the same cabin. Yes, they would. Uh, I'm trying to. Think. We had parent volunteers. We had one. We had one counselor for each cabin. Well, they were teachers, right? No, yeah, it wasn't it was, counselor. It was a teacher. Yeah. yeah, no, it was people that that worked at at the place mm. in the probation hall. It was no, <laughs> no, like that I know what you're crazy. talking about. It's like the it's like the, to do the camp. Like each little like group had its like camp counselor yeah. it's like and he, it's and, like they broke your class up into smaller groups of like like five six type shit and it's like and it's like a young dude probably like 25 26 yeah like summer volunteer yeah. hours type shit they're, I went, they're trying to be a teacher aside from that camp experience I did have the privilege to go to a summer camp for like a couple years what was it called it was a skateboarding summer camp Wait, how old are you? Oh, what is wow. that? This is like, I just I went from tail. Like, I went from like yeah. it was the sickest shit ever. I went from like fifth grade to probably like, like some eleventh rich, grade. Rich shit. That's hard. It was definitely it was like a thousand dollars for the week. So how much? A thousand dollars. Wow. God damn. So our shit was like two hundred, three hundred dollars for the week or some shit. And well, we that had was to sell candy sc- bars. That was through the school though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was like some separate summer camp type type. So this stuff. is like recreational, like you ever heard of element skateboards? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was Elements YMCA skateboard camp, Ooh. Wow. and it was like it was in this uh, like forest, not too far actually, like towards Fresno, and then basically they had all these skate ramps and fucking. So that's obstacles. how you learned to skate. That's hard. I didn't learn to skate there. I've always. But I've you like, definitely got better through that. Well, yeah, but it wasn't one of those. It was more of a place to showcase your expertise, not learn. But uh, I, you'd obviously learn and try to improve. But it wasn't like. Now I'm thinking about it. Because I went to the skate camp, I learned a certain fucking trick. It was, it wasn't like that, but it was the sickest fucking thing ever. Because you're in the forest, and then there's these skate ramps. You get to go hiking. You can go. They had a ramp into the lake, 
That's crazy. It was sick. And just hella kids your age and shit. That's hard. That would I I would figure there'd be more horny like gay shit there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those kids like, are definitely they, smoking cigs. They or paid it. Smoking. I mean, it was just like a different. It was just like interesting age. They're still groups. fairly young though. You said what, like sixth grade? I went there. Yeah, fifth grade, sixth grade. But you're getting paired with the eleventh graders too, right? Like, uh, there's no age. In, no, no, there, it's like age. It's, oh, it's, it's based by cabins. Did and you shit. have to beg your parents to go to that? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely did. I was begging my parents to like to go to these basketball camps. Yeah, I went to that. Like after you started talking about that, I was like, I went to like this basketball camp from like I was like seventh. I was like sixth grade to like eighth grade. Mm-hmm. But they're it not was in Tahoe. They're oh, they were like overnight ones. Yeah, that was the oh, only one went. that was like overnight. I went there like three years in a row, but that was like an overnight. It was like a. It was pretty much like a weekend. It was like Thursday night, and then you you get picked up like Sunday yeah. type shit. Damn, that's fire. Yeah, Bro, that shit was hard. It was so sick. And that's why I was, it's one, like, we're talking about appreciating your parents. It was one of those yeah, things where yeah. I'm just like, damn, they really sent me to fucking skate camp every summer for like four dropped summers. A, dropped a band a on A band yeah. a week? That's it a was just for one week you. every year. Yeah. But it's yeah. Like just a band. <clears throat> that's six bands on skateboarding. On making your child happy, fuck you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but it's also not it's like, to yeah. me. That's six when bands on skateboard. Of, but when you think about it, it's like guy. <laughs> 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 he didn't through skateboarding though. <laughs> oh, that I is started that. filming skating oh, first. Nice, nice. It's like you're and developing your kid. You, when you think about it, it's like yeah. I'm, I, I'm gonna think of my kid as like a my player. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> an investment. <laughs> Get him tatted, hella young. Let me max out his uh, max finishing out. abilities. His yeah. free throws could use some more. Yeah. There's like agility and like nah. strength. All the VC on tattoos who's, is crazy. <laughs> who's gonna be the first one to have a kid around us? Probably now? you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking with that. I jack the guys in relationships. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, yeah. Kelvin. And the, guy, and the guys that are sexually active. Nah, I feel like Kelvin might just drop it on our heads one week. Yeah. <laughs> one week. Oh, I just I show like up <laughs> with a baby. <laughs> yeah. Why like, y'all really think I'll just be out here with you just like a, spread my seed? You ain't got a three year old in the tuck. Nah. <laughs> I had, I had one pregnancy scare. Like a year ago, was it? That's hot. It was a year ago. That's I'm not hot. even. Bro, that was not hot. That shit was the scariest shit ever. And that was like, bro. Honestly, last <laughs> year was that? Was that twenty? That was probably like the the hardest year of my life. Yeah, fuck all that. Nah, yeah, man. that shit was not it. I don't think I've ever had a pregnancy scare. Really? Wait, I have. Okay, I wait, def- wait. I've, I've, had, so you, I've had more than a pregnancy scare. You've had pregnancy scares with, like, girls you were already in relationships with. But what about a girl that you weren't? Never. Well, yeah, I wasn't. That's, that's how it was. That's a real pregnancy scare. I yeah, thought. like, we were talking for, like, a few months, but it was, like. How many times, though, did you hook up with her? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, like it wasn't, like, one-time thing? No, hell no. Oh, okay. Like, less than ten? Because you know what Drake said. No. Wait, no. more than it was more oh. than, more than ten. So you you did have some type of rapport. You guys are on the same page. Yeah, somewhat. rapport. <laughs> but, no, but not as Busting far in as in here like, is rapport. rapport. But, but not rapport. as far as fucking like, I mean, like you didn't yeah, want a like wife though, yeah, right? like I'm not like uh, one. We weren't really like boyfriend and girlfriend. Like we were exclusive, but it wasn't like that. And there was no discussion as far as like having a kid together. You know what I'm saying? Wait, like, so how was it a scare? The word exclusive because she was. Like oh I found out I'm pregnant and she's considering like so keeping she, it. She had an abortion. Yeah. Damn, this is getting real vulnerable on this. I'm like, and that's episode <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> you get the rest of this story possibly. Cut. <laughs> uh, dial down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that was sick. No, nah, but that yeah, was I like for that. sure. Yeah. yeah, that was. A, what are that the was things? Thank you for being that vulnerable. Bro. Yeah, because one of us has to do it. And I'm glad it was you. <laughs> it's always me for something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll be oversharing. Nah, bro, that's all potting is. That's all good potting is. You know Oversharing. I mean? yes. Keep going. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, let's get I love the racial shit. I love the... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying the to gay be, shit. Yeah, like, 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 I'm let's trying play, to be let's, more edgy. Yeah, like, come like on. bro, look, we, there's, there, there's got to be something that's separating us from... You know what I mean? Hey, I really like our podcast. You know what I mean? The, this episode was crazy. We got to just this bring... I mean, the thing is with that, it's like, you, we, for one, we have to be educated on the shit. Yes. No, you don't. Bro, you don't. Yes, you, you don't. You just have to be entertaining like, when you deliver whatever your thought is. But then that's when you're just spewing, and I feel like that's yeah. what a lot of I don't like everything is. Shit, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like. Well, I mean, not really, but it's like, but sometimes it's fun. All right, let's talk your pregnancy scare. All right, now you're like, now the, how was that wilding? That's what he just wanted to talk about. Nah, pregnancy scare. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, I already said. <laughs> Did he? You know I, mean? I think this might be off the table. Nah, because you know what I mean? You admitted that that was oversharing. I'm glad you were the one that's doing it. So let's keep, <laughs> let's keep riding on the fact that he's going to overshare for the pod. So what other, like, the so controversial... The yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, what? What other nah, controversial... I think it's a, a, a balance thing. Nah, yeah, I feel... Like, we all need to overshare every once in a while. Yeah. He be oversharing a lot. Yeah. I Your just, turn. I Carry on, in the pot. I <laughs> yeah. overshared on the gay shit I seen at South Park. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was that was nuts. Not I, was, I appreciate that. That was pretty wild. I'm be real. I was like, Damn. we might edit that one. And me? Ah, <laughs> what? That's regular. <laughs> yeah, that's regular. Elementary that's regular. kids that's do regular. We're not, gay shit all the time, We're not cutting bro. that out. We're not. Elementary kids do gay shit all the time. We're not, bro. Like, come on. No, it was more like the uncle shit. <laughs> bro, 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 nah, we got, we're keeping it. Y'all just, y'all just never bond, y'all just never bonded with y'all. Yeah, uncles, y'all man. never had. Like, y'all, nah, never I never yeah, sure bonded with my. Uh, I fish with my uncles. Like, nah, y'all never had happy time though. <laughs> <laughs> in the other, in the, in, the, in the guest room. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I can kind of see that because I, I have a deaf uncle, who mm. like. We would fuck around with and kind of just like sex play him and type shit, you know, yeah. like grab his ass and just he gets so pissed, bro. Touch the booty hole a little bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> he always takes it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, man, we never did that, bro. <laughs> My dad has this thing where he, when he gets really drunk, he starts licking people on the face. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we're keeping. That, like we're that's definitely over. I feel like a that's not. This is hard. That's that is not like. Shit. That's not yeah. like some gay. Like that's just. Wait, like what? Some, he starts licking what? Just like, with, like grab your face and lick your face yeah. type shit. That's yeah. just like some. That's over the top <laughs> drunk shit. Yeah, but that's, that's not like up. gay. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shout out my pops. Hey, Thanksgiving no, at his house is gonna be nuts. Yeah, this Thanksgiving's year. about to be nuts. Hella rice and hella licking. And, he- and hella leg touching and <laughs> hella little <on> dry homes. <laughs> if we're gonna get introduced to his uncles, I'm gonna be like, ah, it's, uh, <laughs> oh, I, know, I heard about you. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of uncles. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta watch out for all of them. Oh, man. When they ring oh, that he's door, the handsy <laughs> uncle. I'm over there just blocking all his uncles, like, get away. And so they <laughs> You're I, like covering your asshole. Yeah, I was like, he shows up with like a trench coat, <laughs> fucking sweating bullets, or like a big ass puffer, just waiting so for them to like attack. Hey, that's that's what that's what they're running from when they ring the gong. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're edgy right now. We're being very edgy. Yeah, I like this, man. You, I mean, you guys do the. How do you guys think of what do you guys think of Sludge Lords? I, I love it. That's kind of like an f- edgy pod. That's kind of sure, in our right. universe, right? Yeah, and I feel like it brings out like a lot of Adam's comedic side. I feel like. White side, white side. Uh, I feel like he he has a lot of fun on that podcast. Mm, definitely, yeah. yeah. He was able to really be himself. Yeah. But it's definitely topical, on like touchy subjects, which I feel like we could probably never talk about. But just seeing them kind of maneuver through it and kind of yeah, it's pose like, questions throughout, and it's it's pretty it's pretty sick. I watch some of it. I like it. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's a, you know we got to root for our fellow Sacramentarian, even yeah, if he's from Placerville or wherever the fuck he's from. And allegedly racist. I guess that's a narrative. I've I've never seen those videos, but they talked about it um, on Sledge Lords mm. about yeah. like they pressed. I think he did some time. like twenty four hour video in, in Compton. Compton. Yeah, and then his homies sh- took a shit on the Martin Luther King statue. What? Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. He wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yo, what? <laughs> what homie? I don't know. I don't think we've ever met him. I'm like that's just over the top. Like I feel like it's that's just so nuts. Funny. Just, that's what's so s- fucked up oh, about like the he, whole content. He had you know this good I mean? one like, though. He he a good one. He went. I, I was just trying to root for him as a fellow Sacramentarian, and then you guys bring this shit up. <laughs> wait wait. Like, he bro, what? He went, what are we doing? He went to a, <laughs> like, that's not. He went to a women's rights march, um, just like woman empowerment, and he brought his girlfriend with her with him, and he had her put makeup on like she had a black eye. And he walked throughout the whole parade with her until he got arrested. I didn't watch the video, but I heard about that concept. I was like, that's pretty dark, but that's that is a genius idea, content-wise. That one is very separate from the, the last the, one. The, the yeah, Compton uh, one? No, 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 not no, the, the Compton one. The, the Martin Luther, Luther King, King statue one. Like, yeah, Oh, no, that. well, that, that was part of the same video. He took a shit because the Martin Luther King statue oh is, my is at the courthouse. It's at the courthouse. What? Wait, he yeah. took a shit on it? His um, homie did. His homie did. I like think, into yeah. a bag. I don't know. I never seen the clip. I've just heard about it. 
but yeah. That's hella disrespectful. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like, nuts. like, that's I don't know. Like, that's why it's like not everything is content. You know what I mean? It's like where people are really willing to like. Yeah, like, that one's bruh. questionable for sure. That one. Like, questionable. all right. But y'all feeling on. the woman's rights one? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was hey, a pretty like good the, idea. I like I, he posing it's, a question. It's, He's posing yeah. a question. <laughs> No, I, I think that one was. I think that's kind of. Funny. I think that's very edgy. I feel like growing up as fans of Vitali. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you want to bang? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fade? Hey, like, you, know, breaks. you know, Vitali is crazy, dude. One of Danny Mullen's funniest videos. He went to a WNBA. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he got kicked out of a WNBA like arena game or whatever, just basically shitting on women's basketball, and it was pretty entertaining. That one's pretty good. I can't specifically remember what the fuck was going on, but he just walked in there, and he's just like the way he creates mockery of things. It's kind of it's kind of tasteful. Not, not shitting the, not on that, that one. Yeah. Not yeah. that one. <laughs> not that one. Literally nothing. Not <laughs> shitting. That one that. Not not shitting on. Yeah, I can't get behind that. I can't. But also I though, can't. Like, but I also, he's can't. one of them type of dudes where. Notice it wasn't him doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, damn. But that video he, was monetized. He was just talking about the last. Yeah, one. but I'm Ooh. like, yeah. he, you gonna talk to him about this when you see him next? No. You should. He, should I? Yeah. He was talking about the last one he just did at a, a Louisiana slave plantation, and he brought uh, King Croc, which is he's a black man. He came though with like a, um, I think just like a ski mask and like a forty, and was like, just like yeah. on the slave plantation, just fucking around with the people that owned it. But like uh, allegedly, it's like the 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 most haunted piece of land on earth, or something like that. That's so insane. they pulled up to that and just like fucked around with the owners of the land and like just had dude swearing at spirits and shit. So we'll see. We'll follow up with that. Hey, Kel- you hey, could hey, only like, so I, much. I don't like, like, none of that. Hey, to be Kelvin, honest. you're yeah. gonna have to leave him a note, just like you did with your mom. Like we need yeah. to talk. Oh, hey, <laughs> I <laughs> hop at eight o'clock. Yeah, we're like, gonna talk about this. Yeah, like, bro, like. Why can't you do shit like that with your own culture? Like, I'm pretty sure there's some Irish shit you can go make fun of. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's done that, but obviously it's the juxtaposition. That I know, but it's like, it. but that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, not everything is content. Like, you have to understand. Like, okay, I don't really mean this or blah blah blah. It's like, bro, you're still being disrespectful in a way, regardless of if it's just content or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel that, but that's also Danny. Like, that's how yeah, he. I've that's never, how he came up was doing edgy I've, shit. Like I haven't that. seen a lot of his content to be honest. So I can't really tell you on his characteristics or as yeah. like a person. Yeah. But I've definitely heard some, you know, wow l- shit. Like yeah, just like bro, what are you doing? You know? <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's cool every time I see him. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool, man. Yeah. yeah he's like, just from a different he, part of sack <laughs> <laughs> that we don't claim. Yeah. <laughs> you said it. I'll let you tell it. Yeah. Tell I'm me telling more. it. <laughs> I'm, not, yeah. I'm I'm explaining his content. Yeah. Nice. So you don't so fuck with him. So you're subscribed. Nah, it definitely pops up on my recommended though for some. Okay, reason. but on Sledge Lords, you fuck with him? I fuck with him on Sledge. Yeah, on Sledge yes. Lords, he's on great. Yeah. I definitely fuck with him on Sledge Lords. Yeah, yeah I'm playing outside. both sides. Y'all straddling the nah, fence right I'm, now. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to have an, a, a separate opinion. We should create some beef between Sledge Lords to really get this going. Bro, Adam will just fire us. Yeah. <laughs> Kill off the whole beat. That'll, That's still content. That's kind of like, you know. That's a title. Story of Adidon type. We're going, <laughs> That's what we're going <laughs> out. That's a title. T- take the Adidas deal away. Yeah, fuck Adidas. You remember that bar? Yeah, yeah, I remember that bar. Yeah, how we feel about that? I got stripes. But fuck yeah, the back to Drake. Let's go. <laughs> I got stripes. Yeah, he said that this in, the, in one of those songs. He was like fucking... Uh, I only linked up with my the yeah, one time I linked up with my linking ops with was, the ops. I did that shit for J Prince. Yeah. I did that shit for the mob ties. Uh, 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 <laughs> only uh, linked uh, with my ops because of J Prince. Yeah, he just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I just All right, repeated this is, it. Yeah, we're, we're ending on this the downturn. Yeah, we're we're yeah, yeah, freestyle. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, go yeah. in. We're what? taking this out. Let's freestyle. It, okay. Mmm. You rock mm. shoe jimmies. Okay. Yeah, that shit is not tight. <laughs> he just took okay. his He looked like that meme where it's like Matter of fact It's been a long night Okay <laughs> Gotta end this pot off right Send us out Belt Episode Episode 17 man Out of focus Check in next week Dropping every Wednesday Correct 
It's Wednesdays we back or Wednesday? a day before. Or, hey, you never know. We dropped <laughs> you on never Tuesdays know like the past couple weeks. Yeah, hey, man, you never know what Dropped it, it on that ass. Potential special guest next week, so. Yeah, stay tuned. 21, we love y'all. can you do something for me? Hey, right, my treacherous little twin. <laughs>